What it do, y'all? What it do? How's my people doing on this this amazing Saturday? What it do, chat? Can y'all hear me? Am I loud enough for you? Yeah, my mic working. Listen, I see, I see they still at it. <laughs> These people don't get, they don't give up. Like, listen, sometimes you just gotta take your ass whooping and just go on. Just take the spanking and go on, right? Ah, some people just like pain. You know, sometimes there's just people that just like ass whooping at the ass whooping at the ass whooping. I, I'm just starting to, to see that. You know, some people just like, oh, damn it, I lost. And then just move on. <laughs> you know? And my guy Charles is one of those. You know? Mm-mm-mm. But look, we're going to start, before we even get to Charles, we're going to start off with some other topics that I see is, is moving up in, you know, they, they got your boy up in the algorithm. They got your boy up in the algorithm. Now, this one first is, yeah, I guess it's uh, uh, JJ. JJ Reddick, JJ Reddick in his podcast, I guess he had a uh, Rich Paul over. And I guess they was telling a story about uh, back in the day. <laughs> Woo! It used to get heavy in them streets. Now let's see what. Let's see what my man JJ got to say. Are right, y'all ready? Okay, Rich, last question. The robot question, reminder to our viewers. Mm-mm. Wait, can y'all hear that? Because I can't hear it. Well, hold on, let me, hold on before we even. No, 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 we're not going to do this today. Y'all can hear it? Oh, man, I can't hear it. No, I can't hear it. My speakers broke. This better not be no bullshit. Oh my God, I can't hear. Viewers that you can use code OLD on Roback.com for 20% off your first purchase. That's R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. Code OLD, you guys know I wear the gear all the time. Love the performance hoodies. Rich, what is the best card game story you have? Well, there, there's several, but I'll, I'll give you this one. So the Pistons are playing the Cavs in the playoffs. We have a card game. And again, the Pistons are playing the Cavs in the playoffs. What year is this? 06, 06 or 07. We can fact check that, but it was in the moment. Yeah, then you, you was playing up. Did he say Pistons? <laughs> he said Pistons, right? He already messed up. Oh, man. I thought I did subscribe to JJ. My bad, my bad, y'all. Did he say Pistons? I thought he said Pistons. He said Pistons, right? He said we don't play cards. Mr. Wizards. We end up having two card games in one area. No, that's and the, it's the Pistons and the Cavs. Yeah, that's, that's not us. <laughs> together. They have to play each other. It's Chauncey, it's Rip, it's Tayshaun. It's, and I'm sitting here, I'm saying to myself, this is crazy. That is, th that after they beat us, yes, that's facts. Like, we're in the playoffs. Everybody. <laughs> but it's Bure, it's card. Like, we, I, you know, and, and at the same time, I'm saying to myself, Rich, lock in. This is your playoffs. This is your Eastern <laughs> Conference fucking finals. You are the lowest man of lowest men or the totem pole. Lock in. Don't take no chances. 
Don't try to be too cute. Don't pull up for the three on a one on none fast break because We're these guys. That, uh, damn, who was in that game? Drew Gooden. Oh, no, here he is. Gil Perry Hughes. Oh, the heaviest action I've had was with Gilbert Arenas, Larry Hughes. Damn, who was in that game? Drew Gooden. Mm -hmm. Gilbert, Larry, Drew. I want to say D. Jones. Damon Jones. Man. He still owe me goddamn money from that game. Man. That's why I came up with the... Uh, <laughs> The landlord is here. <laughs> the landlord is here. I need my rent money. That's where that slogan came from. And that's why he couldn't, um, like Damon Jones couldn't play in the series. Because I told him, until he paid me my money, I'm not running no plays one full flat every time against him. See, that, see, right here, this game right here, because he owed me money, that's when they subbed him in game, was it six, when he hit the game winner. That's what that was all about. It had nothing to do with LeBron. This was all Damon Jones because he owed me money, and I kept fucking with him the whole series. And they put him in at the end of the game to hit that shot. And we were playing at Larry's house. Larry was, was, had either bought, yeah, I think he bought the house from Oak. Oak had, Oak had built the house, and Larry bought it from Oak. And we ended up playing at Larry's house. i never forget this. We were annying 2,000 a man cool. playing Blue Ray. Things can get out of hand quick, right? <laughs> the minute, you know how crazy that is? And I'm not in the end. Just so y'all understand, we're playing 2,000 a man. So, which means every guy, everybody has to put up 2,000. So the, the, this game is basically spades mixed with poker in a sense, right? Where you get five cards, whoever's dealing, let me go. Whoever is dealing, whatever card, before he looks at his hand, whatever card he flips over, that's the cut card. Right? So, you know, so if it's if it's clubs, that's the cut card. So now, you know, everybody looks in their hand and, you know, if they have clubs or high cards like an ace or ace, you know, they will keep that hand and then go from there. Right? So that's really how the game is played. 2,000. Now, the the Blu-ray game that the gun in the locker room incident, that was $25 per inning. <laughs> Just so y'all can see how far that game was $25 a, a, a person. This is $2,000 a person. NBA. I'm not, I'm not. The, 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 the minimum pot is 10 th That's the minimum. Right. So Wait. I'm just going gonna, gonna to break this down for the viewers real quick. Yeah. If you Annie, five guys, Annie, $2,000. Mm -hmm. Pot is 10,000. Yes. Let's say you play one hand and it's a 2 2 1, i.e., nobody wins the pot. Everybody yes. re -anties. Now Pot 20. is now 20,000. Yes. Let's say the next one, four people stay in. We got another 2 2 1, mm -hmm. plus we got a boo. Pot is now 60,000. 60, mm -hmm. 60,000, yes. Let's say somebody wins the next pot, but someone gets booed. Or two people get booed. <laughs> two, two people get booed. Now the pot is 126,000. 120, yes. That's, 100, yes. That's how the pot grows in That's boo, how right? the pot grows in boo. And hit it. Now, this is the problem with th th this game, right? Now, it's usually never about money, right? When you, when players get in, you know, get in that shit, like they fighting on a plane, right? Think about it. This is like a few hands and it can be already at 120,000. Five minutes into the game, someone can be like that, that pot could be 120,000. 20, and no, we don't have 120,000 at hand this motherfucker ious right <laughs> you got motherfucker we, we writing paper down putting the paper in the pot right when it gets this high um this is what happens it's about morals right let's say that i can't win the pot now if i can't win the pot i'm trying to get a 221 or if i know someone's gonna win I'm trying to boost somebody, right? So that means if I have one, right, um, this person has one, this person has zero, right? I'm trying to figure out how to get both these guys booed so there's two boos and the pot stays, the money stays in the pot. So I might, you know, throw off, throw off to get one of my 
one of my teammates booed, so he has to that's that right there. <laughs> that right there, when you purposely do something to get somebody booed, like I could have let him win if I would have thrown this card, but I didn't throw this card, I threw this card. So when he throws it, someone eats that, and now I have the, the last card for no reason, right? And he got booed, he got booed. Now these two people are mad at me, but I don't give a fuck because I want the money back in the pot. So that's what ends up happening in Boo Ray. It's usually when you do little things like that to keep the money in the pot. Because if I can't win, I want the money to stay high, right? Even though we don't need each other's money, we want it. Like, I don't need to. It, I don't need, I want it. That's the, that's the, I want your money. $2,000 Annie is insane. It's in five, five games can turn into $126,000. Very easy. It's insane. And not only is it insane, I have to be the craziest guy in the world. <laughs> yeah, so people lose houses, right? People lose, lose houses, cars, Maybachs in card games, right? So, you know, you rarely see games this high, but it was the playoffs. You know what I mean? We got playoff checks coming. Like, <laughs> everybody kind of got big money, but him and D. Jones, right? But, you know, they shit talkers. So they, it's the competitiveness of it all. But, you know, those are, this is a true story. And Damon Jones steals me money, man. Him, Harvey Grant. But, like, like something like this, right? They'll come and, you know, Damon Jones will lose 100, 300,000. And he'll lose it to somebody like me, right? If he gives me 35 grand, I'm cool, right? That's how I'm cool. Like, I'm not going to really, you know, especially if I won a lot that night. If I won, like, all the cash and someone owes me a ticket, I'm not going to make them pay the ticket like that, right? You know, it ain't, re it ain't really about that. It's just being dominant sometimes. Like, Harvey, I knew Harvey couldn't pay his bill. You know, I just like the fact that you owe me money and I'm just going to keep talking shit. I like that. Like, I'm going to just talk shit to you the whole time. Like, you owe me money, right? You know, it ain't really about, you know, like, you actually giving me the money. Just the fact that you owe me the money, now you got to tiptoe and shit. Now when you start talking about, yeah, I just, you know, he was getting ready to say he just went to the mall, but he know he owe me money. I got to shut the fuck up. I, that's the kind of power I like. You got to shut the fuck up. All right, so, uh, you know, that was a true story. Now... Now here go the one, you know, that got me that got me moving right now. And be honest, man, I won. Like y'all can't tell me I didn't win this battle. For real. Like I won this battle. Like I won. I'm sorry. Fuck that. I won. Two, listen, two one. Two one is a win, right? Okay, he ended it on a game winner. Like he ended it like hot. I ended hot, so I won. Nah, 2 1. Got a new challenger. He goes by Agent Zero. Mm. Mm. No facts. It was 3 0 because I, you know, then they had to shut that bitch down. <laughs> Lock the doors there. I ain't gonna lie. Listen, it was it was fun. Um, I was I was I, I ain't gonna lie. I was nervous at first because um, like the views that they get, I wanted to make sure that I was <laughs> I, I was I was gonna do my thing. So like uh, I really put some time in it. Like you know, we went over you know uh, me and McCanson, and we went over what we was gonna do, how we was gonna add our little flavor to it. So. Yeah, you know, that, that was a good battle. I'm, I'm going to go for a round two because I don't think nobody's ever did a rematch. So, mm-hmm. Mm now, let's get to the, you know, let's, let's get to him. What was it? Dream, dream what was it? What did you say? What? Dreamers Pro. Somebody reported me? Yeah, this is <laughs> what, what I care for. <laughs> what I care for, man. Man, I don't care about flags and stuff, brother. That's... Okay, let's see. Which one is this one? Uh, Actually, no, no, no. We're going to go to uh, do, 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 do. this one first. 
Now, now here's the problem with, with, uh, with, with all of this. The problem with all of this is, look, it's two different topics, right? And I think this is the problem. Like, every, everyone's argument is not my statement. It's not my statement. Right. It's like the argument, the argument that they're making is not my statement. Um, and I think that's the I think that's the issue that's going on. They're making claims and they're making points that has nothing to do with what I'm actually saying. You know. Um, and, and that's and that's 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 the issues like I'm not. I'm not, I'm not making these claims, right? My claim is here and they keep like moving a goalpost to make the, the proof points. Wait, what happened? I didn't notice who's going to tell them, Gil, you got hit with a fake strike. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. They hit me with a fake. If it's a fake strike, then it's fake. Why do I care? It's fake. Why do I care? Right, we I already know who. I already know what group does this. Right, you know, who cares? Right, you know, like, you know, like. Let's just be honest. And this is just. Oh, my stream went down for five. Oh, that, hey, listen, this is the problem sometimes. What I think um, with YouTubers, you know, they get so in their feelings, right, and they gotta like, like. Like hit your claim, man. Like, well, let's report him so he don't get his numbers. Like, I, like if you have to do that, you have no that. That's that's your problem. That, that's not mine. I, you know, if you get it shut down, you get it shut down. Why do I care? Does it stop my actual money? Does it stop the paychecks from coming in my accounts? No. You want to stop my views? <laughs> Like, grow up, grow up, <laughs> grow up. Like the fact that you gotta do stuff like this. Like I've never, anyone who uses my content, I've never flagged them. Nah, it ain't dream. It ain't dreamers. It ain't dreamer. He he sleep. <laughs> it ain't dreamer. Uh, you know he live on the other side of the country, man. Like, you know it's 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 others. We everybody know who they are. Uh, this is weak weak folks. It's I'm never gonna flag nobody for. For material that's that's what it's called it's right so let's let's keep it moving hey what's up everybody this is charles advancing want to welcome you guys to another episode of the dreamers pro show where we cover everything from sports hot topics classic debates entertainment and when we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them and today we have a very special show we're going to be interviewing lakers legend michael cooper is an exclusive interview that you can, you can only get on this channel or if you go to spotify and itunes if you want the full interview so before we even get into this interview i want to give you guys a quick backstory uh we were talking about a range of things in this interview and i actually let off by asking him what it takes to be a great defensive player and then he started talking about draymond green so take a listen to the full interview here yeah draymond has an ability to defend five positions uh but again today's game is ruled by the smaller perimeter player and those are the ones that uh, are knocking those threes down. So you got to be able to be a little bit, bit, little bit more fleet of foot out there. You got to move around. You got to ch chase some of these guys. And Steph Curry literally attract me once they come on this side of, uh, on the offensive end. Steph is something else. You're talking about defense, and I, I actually, before getting you on the show, I watched uh, some some footage of your game, and I listened to Larry Bird say that of all of the people that defended him in, enti in his entire NBA career, no one defended him as good as you. My question is, how did you approach your defensive assignment regarding a player like Larry Bird? Well, for me, it was watching a lot of film. Uh, I watched a lot of film on Larry's games because I knew that we were probably, in order to win a championship, we were going to have to go through Boston. But the same I did with Dr. J and Detroit with Isaiah and Benny Johnson and those guys that we were going to play. So I think film work is very important because you get the chance to understand the plays that they're running for those players that's going to get them open. So with Larry, it was just about... He says something that's very key to my argument. Um... Um, film work is very important. Right? Film work is very important. Competing against him. And Larry's mm -hmm. thing wasn't so much physical, more mental. 
Mm -hmm. I had to kind of like try to get into his head, not deny where he likes his sweet spots down low or out on the perimeter. But Larry, the attention that you had to give him wasn't when he just had the ball. Mm -hmm. He became more dangerous when he threw the ball into the post or he got rid of the ball because he was Mm going to do something to affect uh, the offense, uh, to affect the offensive end at that point in time, whether it's Mm -hmm. in a back pick, whether it was – uh, doing something to affect the game. Essentially, you were saying that he was very good at. No, no, it, it could have been. It could have been uh, uh, super hot. Um, you know, people have coding on their Western, and that's why I tried to speed it up. You know, um, you know, but it, it it wouldn't be him directly. It'd be just you know whatever code they have on it. But you know, who knows? It's scoring without the ball, but also kind of being a decoy to always have the. The defense always on the swivel. Is, is it kind of similar to what Steph does or something different? I think a decoy for him was going to be like setting a back kick. I think Steph uh, is very well good. I'm not translate on James with his side for you. So, um, they, yeah, I, and Magic basically listed off all because somebody that can score, no. he can get better. No. Uh, I watch a lot of film on him and I've oh. walking down. He didn't move to the haters. Moves with kill. Yeah, I thought it was a 10 man. Dead tired right. after a back to back and. Exactly. To fly domestic, they don't have, they have now. We're flying charter and they leave right after the game in the next city. Then you know, at two, three in the morning, we had to wait till the next morning to leave. But wow. I don't want to sound like one of them old guys. All the no, old no, 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 you're saying the truth. But, <laughs> yes, and, but guys, here, you know what the fans make you, they make who you are, and you know what, they're the ones that are paying the bill because they're buying your new hey. Okay, I know you're tired, and I, like I saw, hey, y'all remember when I made that statement? Hold on, hold on. Oh, Kareem, I saw Magic Johnson, them guys were dead tired right. after back to back. and and exactly. fly domestic, they don't have, they have now we're flying charter and they leave right after the game in the next city. Then you know, at two, three in the morning, we had to wait till the next morning to leave. But wow. I don't want to sound like one of them old guys. All the no, old no, no, you're saying the truth, but <laughs> yes, and but guys, here, you know what, the fans make you, they make who you are, and you know, they're the ones that are paying the bill. So they're buying your uniform, they're buying your jerseys, and they're paying the money to come to the game. So they deserve to get their money's worth. And players, if you can try to play, play, if not, at least try. And if you can't, you got to be in that arena. There's been this argument going around about Giannis Antetokounmpo going to go train with Hakeem Olajuwon, one of the greatest players of all time, one of the best centers in NBA history. Love. Some Love people, that. some people have been a little bit critical of um, uh, Giannis going to go train with Hakeem because they're saying, well, his moves that he uses are outdated. They're not going to work in this current NBA. But we see players like Joel Embiid and all that. What do you think about Giannis as a player wanting to get better and deciding to go play with uh, to go to go work out with Hakeem? What are your thoughts on that? How can people knock that? The kid wants to get better. And you know what? Why not work with one of the best low post players in our game today? And that's a player that we didn't even talk about as being in the top five NBA players. Elijah yep. Juan was a devastating center. And I don't know what they're talking about. His moves wouldn't work today. They don't play low post defense anyway. So, again, <laughs> uh, those moves would kill somebody. Because right now, the NBA is all about a dunk or all about the three-point shot. So, why not have that intermediate game, that inside low post game, and truly become unstoppable then? So, I, kudos to uh, Giannis for going into Elijah Juan and, and trying to get better and expand his game. Because, again, as you get older, <clears throat> the skills, you don't jump as high, you don't move as fast. So, why not come down? If you look at Michael Jordan, what did he start doing when he got older? He started killing people in that low post. In the post, yeah. Uh, up. So come on, Giannis. I, I, yeah, go ahead, man. Don't listen to the haters. I, I, I re- it's funny you're saying this. Uh, Gilbert Arenas, who I recently became friendly with, uh, we kind of had this back and forth. Now, I don't know him so well, but he saw one of our shows, and he was a bit critical of Giannis going to work with Kim. I mean, uh, uh, with the Kim because he's like, you're going to be traveling all of this, and I'm like, no, I think it's a great thing. But then Gilbert pushed back. He's like, you know, you're not an NBA player. You don't know. You never played in the NBA. I'm like, well, I think it makes sense. So it was quite refreshing uh, to to hear you say that. What do you think about Gilbert uh, saying that Giannis shouldn't be wasting his time doing that? I think everybody has their own opinions. I love Gilbert Arenas. So we coach in the big three together. So again, I'm, like I said, uh, that's his thoughts of it as a guard. But I mean, as a, as somebody having to defend somebody in the low post, James Worthy, just his name, one, uh, having to guard him every day and, and him putting the moves on me, it kind of helped me defend other people. But Elijah Wan had moves that you couldn't deal with, the mm-hmm. dream shake and all that. So I mean, again, it's about a player wanting to get better. Why not? Why, why are you talking about him when he's trying to get better? Well, I'll get you out of here on this question. Uh, it's a two-parter. Number one, the problem is whenever they respond, they're responding off of Hakeem Olajuwon's basketball career. Right? No one said anything about Hakeem's basketball career, right? Um, if your wife, right, is a great wife, right? takes care of you, takes care of the kids and all of that, but she can't cook. And my statement at your dinner, hey, your wife can't cook for shit, right? 
You can't say and use how great of a wife she is, how she takes care of you and the kids. That is not up for debate. The debate is the, the her cooking. We're talking about the cooking here, not who she is as a person. I'm not talking about Hakeem as a person. I'm not talking about Hakeem as a basketball player and how he played the game. That is not. So when everyone's talking about him as a basketball player himself, that's not. We're not talking about that. We're talking about him as a teacher. And I don't think you guys are factoring in as a teacher of the skills and the ability that he has. Right? Jordan jumped from the free throw line. He is a, a dunk champion. Right? If someone says, hey, Jordan, Jordan can't teach how to jump from the free throw line, and, and I'm his client. <laughs> no way in fucking hell I can jump from the three-point line. I don't have the ability to jump from the three-point line. Right? You can't teach greatness. You, it's you. You can't teach it. Elon Musk can't teach what the fuck he has going in his brain. <laughs> he can't teach it. He can tell you and all this shit, and you sit there, oh yo, yeah, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you, you're not, you're not learning. If that was the case, Hakeem played for how many years, right? How many sinners? and power forwards and guards played with him, right? But every, all the thing about every single player from the year he came in 1984, how many people he played with? Now, when we say played, we mean in practice every day, before practice, during practice, after practice, one-on-one -on -one drills, the post-up big man, post-up moves, that all counts, right? Right? In real time, they're there in real time with him every single day, six months straight. How come not one of them learned the Hakeem Sheikh? So NBA players can go pay and learn it in three days but his teammates who's there six, seven years, every single day with him, couldn't learn it. Like just so you can get the concept of um, greatness doesn't get transferred like this. Jordan, same, he has teammates, right? How many absorbed his, his, his work ethic? How many became Jordan-like? Name another player who had a fadeaway kind of like Michael Jordan's while they're working with Michael Jordan every single day. Not a fucking finger roll, nothing. Kobe Bryant. How many guards played with Kobe Bryant? Hmm? None learned footwork? Huh? He, he trained three times a day. And you telling me not one Not one had the desire to understand how to do that. Like, think about what, the, let's think about it. If Kobe Bryant is the one of the greatest, Michael Jordan is the greatest, all I have to do as a player is just do everything he's doing. Copying it. If he's here and I'm here copying it, I'm still better than fucking 90% of the NBA. Just copying it. If Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time, him and Clay is the greatest shooter of all time, and I can't shoot, you're telling me all I have to do is mimic the habits. The habits of what Clay comes in at seven o'clock every day. Okay, I'm coming in at. Seven o'clock every day. Okay, Clay is warming up. He, he warms up for an hour. Okay, I'm going to warm up for an hour. Clay is shooting 300 shots before practice. 
I'm t- shooting 300. Yeah, I'm not shooting it like Clay and Steph, but I'm getting a repetition up, right? Before practice, doing, I'm mimicking the greatness of these players. And you're telling me the guards that played with them didn't have a fraction of it. Right? Think about it. Iguodala, who who um who just retired, um, Sean Livingston, right? Draymond Green, Gary Payton Jr., right? They all played with Steph. Not a couple months, years part of the splash crew. And not one of them jump shot got better. Not one. Well, you got to ask yourself, what the fuck are they doing in the gym that they seeing what the best shooter in the world is doing? Right? I mean, Poole already had his game. And his, his willingness to get better It doesn't transfer like that. And I'm sorry to, to, to keep telling y'all this over and over and over. Right? You go to work. There's someone smarter than you. You're watching them every day. The gift, he can't teach his gift. Now, we're going to go to you again, Charles, on boom. Here we go, Charles. Joe, we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a first perspective on things. And now we see them in today. We got one kind of show for you guys here today. But before we even get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my name is Charles Tabanzi. My handle is C-T-A-B-A-N-Z. If you want to follow us, also make sure you follow us on um, Dreamers Pro on Instagram. Same name as the channel, Dreamers Pro. And make sure you check out the Dreamers Pro podcast that we have pinned in the comment section below. Anyway, let me get into this topic here. So, as you guys know, we recently had a back and forth with uh, Gilbert Arenas. Uh, let me say about three or four days ago. Now, it started with me kind of calling out Gil for some of his wacky takes over the last a uh, few months now some of the stuff he's been saying especially about Giannis, especially about Giannis. and then uh uh what happened about maybe yeah about three days ago Gil- whenever someone whenever someone says my wacky takes my outrageous takes i always say the same thing did i lie though <laughs> did i lie right you might not like to take personally but am i lying on the take and i i don't think people gets that part like once they try to do all the research, the question is, did I actually lie on the take? It might be wild to you because you probably never heard it, didn't do the research on it. Like when I said, yeah, Isaiah Thomas and, you know, in the 88, 80, or the 89 and the 90 team had an advantage because they had their own private plane first. Right, that's an advantage. You have your own private plane. So when you heard Coop say, "Yeah, we had to sleep over the next day," and these guys get the rest, so they had more rest than everybody else. And then, you know, Isaiah Thomas. Everybody thought I was stupid. Oh, that's about. And then Isaiah Thomas said, "Oh yeah, we had our own plane. You should thank us for having our own plane and thank us that you like. I don't give a fuck about what you had. Did I lie? No, you had an advantage because you had a plane. My point is proven. What you say after that has no meaning to me." Joe finally surprised all of us and did a did a response video. It was a response live. It was like a two and a half hour live. And he was kind of going through some of the things that I said. He had a compilation of videos that we had produced and he was breaking down various things. Then I did a response video and then he did a response live. And then um, I did a I did a quick response live. I was supposed to do um I was supposed to do, I think we we're supposed to get on each other's show or something like that. He was gonna invite me on the show, but we did we didn't get a chance to. But anyway, anyway. Uh so towards the end of one of Gil's shows, he was saying that, you know, um, maybe the part he kind of saw my angle of is by the scammer thing about the Giannis thing and the, the, the what is it the Kima Lajuan connection but apart from all of that Gilbert Arenas recently had a show on uh Gil's Arena with Richard McCamp <clears throat> and they were arguing over the very funny enough funny enough some- Let, keep this in mind right here all right 
some people in the comments were coming at your man basically saying oh dog you didn't play in the nba son you can't understand this son what you talking about what you mean let him cook let him cook you got filleted you got filleted i'm like nah, oh, you got cool up obviously i never played in the nba we all know this i never said i did but with my no my no not my no basketball knowing self i gotta ask the people and the people that tried to play me two questions number one if i don't know ball how do i know gilbert arenas is a good player and number two during that conversation that they had with him and Rashard McCann, Rashard agreed with like every, he made every right. single point that I made. He agreed with all of them. And Rashard played in the NBA. So that argued every single point I had with him and Rashard McCann. Rashard agreed with like every, he made every single point that I made. He agreed with all of them. Well, <laughs> well I, I, Charles, I'm just going to let you know from uh, <laughs> experience. Uh, if he agreed with every take you had to offer, then that means you lost. <laughs> that means you lost because he can't win nothing. I'm just going to be honest, right? Because Rashad, what he does is he just does the opposite, right? So he he's going to pick the opposite. Like if you say Michael Jordan is the most inspirational, he's going to go with Curry. If you say Curry is the most, he's going to go with what's the name. So with me, I make sure I stick right, correct, knowing that he just gonna go opposite and then just argue the opposite. So the fact that it, it's he he made all your points, <laughs> he lost again. And Rashad played in the NBA, so that argument doesn't really hold water. But anyway, the main thing that they were arguing in that clip was, <clears throat> would you go and get training from Akeem Olajuwon? Rashad was saying, you better believe it. Gilbert Arenas was saying, you're going to be wasting your damn time because y'all not going to really be learning anything. Rashad was like, you're absolutely wrong. You're going to be picking up a lot of different things. So that was the argument. And I went through the comments and I think the majority of the people were agreeing with Rashad on that point. So we left that, uh, exchanged a few messages with Gil here and there. We left it alone. Then what happened? Uh, I was going through the internet this morning and I came across an article from fadeawayworld.net. And this article was basically highlighting a response that Gilbert made about Giannis play, you know, playing, you know, trying to pull off some of Hakeem Olajuwon's moves when they were playing in LA the night Damian Lillard make his, made his debut with the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, I didn't see that part of the game because I, I saw the first half, but I, I came in late in the first quarter, as I said. So apparently there was a part where Giannis was backing his defender down and tried to hit him with a, with a uh, what is it, with a dream shake and pivot to the baseline, but he got cut off. So he did a reverse pivot. And then laid the ball up. So that play uh, was, I guess, clipped and posted on the internet. Maybe Gilbert Arenas clipped it and he wrote travel, laughing out loud, which was one of the points he was making in this show. So what we want to do is we're going to do it for the very first time. We're not going to play the sound. We're going to play the clip. It's like an 11 second clip of Giannis making his move. And I want you guys to pay very, very close attention to whether or not you think Giannis travels. So take a look at that. Travel. <laughs> <laughs> Travel, you can't do that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about none of that, right? Yeah, that's travel. So you saw the clip. I had to put that clip on full screen because at first I'm like, he didn't travel. Now, this makes it work. He put it on full screen. Then I put the clip on full screen and I kind of paused as I was playing through it. And I realized Giannis Antetokounmpo, Giannis Antetokounmpo did not travel. Yeah, but like, I, I hate to say it to you, he did not travel. And I was reading through some of the comments because some people left some comments. One person said, uh um somebody said you're funny most of the time but you straight hate and somebody said huh that, that's not a travel dude another person said uh he traveled because he got pushed um he said must have been a satellite lab over zoom or some you know what another person said stop trolling another person said i hope the rest call the travel when the season starts uh and another person said they all travel another person said i didn't see the travel big travel so it seems to me that there's some type of confusion going on here now i want to be Quickly technical for a minute, because I know Gilbert Arena see this, see this video. He's going to turn this into a three-hour live correcting me. So there's something I want to establish here. If you look at the video and you pay close attention to it, Giannis establishes his dribble. I mean, establishes his pivot once he picks up, once he stops dribbling. And then I think in this case, his pivot. Once he stops dribbling, dribbling, the travel is before he dribbled. That's the, the, the uh, before he dribbles is the travel, not after he dribbles. That That's that's meaningless just looking at the video became his right foot 
He can kept on spinning and spinning and spinning. Once you establish a pivot, you can turn in any direction and take 2,000 steps if you want. The minute you lift up your pivot foot, you're now allowed one step. Now, there's a wrinkle because I've seen other players take a step through. Kawhi Leonard has done it at others. In some cases, you could call it a, you could call it a travel in those cases. Now, when you gather the ball, I know you're allowed to take two steps. Hence, the Euro take two steps. This entire NBA is, is, is predicated on carrying the ball and travel. Not part of my argument. And if we're going to point out traveling, no one traveled more than one James Harden. James Harden would actually pack luggage with him when he started to travel. Okay, so here's a rule of thumb that no one knows, right, about NBA refing. So at the end of the year, what they'll do is they'll take all the clips. So James Harden, they'll take all of James Harden's step back clips, right? And what they would do is they'll watch them all and then they'll come up with, okay, let's say they had a hundred clips and then they'll go through it slowly. And then they'll say, all right, he did it right, right, right. Okay. Travel, travel, right, right, travel, travel, right. So with James step back, it was 70 to 30, 70% of the time he did it correctly. 30% of the time he traveled, right? So you have a 730 split here. What they do is they say this, well, it is legal. Unless you catch it in real time, you cannot pre-call travel. You have to exactly get the steps right to call a travel. The fact that he's moving back towards the rim, he doesn't have an advantage. We're gonna, we're not gonna not call it. That's how that works, right? So they give the player the benefit of the doubt if there's no legal advantage on the move. So the fact that he's moving away from the rim, right? And you can't catch it in real time. So if they catch it in real time, they can call it. Other than that, they give it the benefit of the doubt when he does it. That's how that actually works. No. Nope. And most travels on a fast break. So, so you can understand the concept of when you guys see fast break travels. If a guy is on a fast break, boom, and he catches the ball and he, it looks like he took three, four, five steps. The reason the ref is not going to blow it is because the defense didn't make him do it. And they're not going to reward the defense for not even hustling back. Like he stole a ball and you're walking or jogging up the court. The, the ref is not going to, the ref is not going to do your job for you. Now, if you're chasing him and you're on his heels and he did that, they're going to call that travel. But the fact that you're not even hustling back, they're not going to call it. They're just going to let the play go, take the fucking ball out of bounds. I'm not going to sit here and blow the whistle for you. All right? He stole the ball for you. Then he traveled and gathered. And I'm not blowing the whistle to, to, to penalize him. Right? And that's what the ref does. Like, like the ball, you know, they're taking a ball out of bounds and Westbrook gets it and he, he's sitting there talking. And you sitting at half court and he grabs the ball and he takes four steps. Unless the ref hates you, he's not going to blow it. And then now you got to come all the way back down here and take the ball out. And you sitting at half court just waiting for the ball to come. They're not going to call that trap. Right. So that's that's usually why those plays don't get called. Nobody traveled more than him. And I remember Tracy McGrady calling him travel. In the case of Giannis, he did not travel at all. Giannis backed his defender travel. down. He backed him down. I'm looking at it right now. He backed him down. His left foot, his right foot was the pivot. He turned again. Boom. He stepped through. That's not a travel. Giannis didn't travel, Gil. You tried to say he did, but he didn't try. That's not a travel. Well, he, stood, he stood on it. He not traveling. Now we're going to do something else. Hold on. Someone actually did it, and we played it in our live, right? And hold on. Ooh. Hold on. Yeah, I got it. I got an email. <laughs> I got an email from YouTube, y'all. Hold on. Let me see what this is. Mm -mm -mm. All right, now let's go to real stuff. All right, boom. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Okay, come on. Why is it? Come on, click it with it. Click it with it. Where's Instagram? Oh no. Come on, it's not going. Oh, da, 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 da. Why is it not? It's not playing. I can play the video here. Hold on, let me. I can play the video here, but it's. It won't. It won't go to. It won't go to the YouTube part of it. It won't go to the YouTube part of it. Mm. But it was like it was a uh, one of the basketball heads going through the whole um, breakdown of. Oh shit! This I'm sorry. This is it. God damn it! My bad. Let's check out Melo in the lab with him as well. He Damn puts man. it through and lifts his pivot foot before releasing the ball to start his dribble, which is a travel. I believe that should be corrected on the spot. In this clip, he's in the lab with JaVale McGee and Amari Stoudemire. Amari rips it through and lifts his pivot foot before releasing the ball to start his dribble, making that a travel as well. And here we go to a separate workout. Him demonstrating, lifting his pivot foot before releasing the ball to start his dribble, traveling there as well. But then Marcin Gortat. Tries to move and does the same exact thing. Lifts that pivot foot before releasing the ball to start his dribble. Traveling as well. And then another rep right after the same exact way. And here's Hakeem demonstrating again. Ripping the ball through. Lifting his pivot foot before releasing the ball to start his dribble. Travel there as well. The details are always everything. Especially when it comes to teaching. And in multiple different training videos, I see the same lack of discipline as players start their dribble. This is in no way, shape, or form any disrespect to Hakeem. Nor am I siding with anyone. Just speaking the facts. That's it. Just speaking the facts, you know, that just like I'm what like the details in the film, like Coop says, I watch a lot of film. So if I'm watching all of his videos of him training players year after year after year, and this is what we're getting when I say you're wasting your time. There's a reason. If I'm saying it, you're wasting your time. You're going down there to learn how to travel. Now, Giannis did it. They didn't call it. How many times has he tried this move since this game? Since it's part of his package now. You can't inherit a habit in three days. Right? So what he did was he tried it first play of the game. Let me post up. Let me go ahead and show them what I got. Every player tries that, right? You worked on something. You try it soon as you, you I'm going to try it now. Ooh, let's go travel. That's usually travel. Now, now here, I want to, I want to give you the rules to traveling, <laughs> So we understand the rules. Uh, let me see. Where is it at? Uh, 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 uh. uh Windows. Okay, there we go. That's what it's windows when I. And so this is this is the ruling. So we all know the ruling. A pivot takes place when a player who is holding the ball steps once or more than once in any direction with the same foot. With the other foot, pivot foot is in contact with the floor. Right? Like this is this is B is what everyone's B is what everyone if a player wishes to dribble after a pivot or this is after a pivot so this matter this doesn't really matter after after the ball once he dribbles if the player wishes to dribble after a pivot the ball must be out of his hand before before the pivot foot is raised off the floor this is 
right here, the first line, I'm sorry, this right here, the first line is the most important part. If the player wishes to dribble after a pivot, the ball must be out of his hand before the pivot foot is raised off the floor. Right? Charles, we get it, right? Off the foot. The, before, when he takes his one step, before the pivot foot lifts, the ball has to be out. Now, Now, since you, I know since you don't understand that. Let's go to. So James Harden traveled. In the case of Giannis, he did not travel at all. Giannis. Okay. Now. All right. We'll slow it down for you. Back. See his right foot. So his left foot is his pivot. His right foot is up. Right? One. Oh, you see how his other foot came up? We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll rewind it for you. Giannis. All right. So his pivot is his leg. Right foot up. Right? Ball still in his hand. Okay. Ball still in his hand. Oh, other foot is off. Ball is still in his hand. So in slow motion, if we slow it down, All right, in real time, right? In real time, he's going one, two. Travel, right? It has to. <laughs> Up, right? Travel, every time. Just so, just so we got it. All right, Charles? You know, just so we know what the travel is. I don't know what kind of TV you got, how slow you slowed it. <laughs> travel. So... Now, you said uh, Rashad agreed with you. Now, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting right here. Actually, before we go to this one, here's another point I have proved. You remember when I said the 80s? I always said the 80s wasn't as tough as everybody say. I just a bunch of dudes that just hacked. They didn't play no defense, right? Everybody kills me. Oh, you, you, you didn't watch the 80s, and why are you going at the 80s? Let's just be honest. If the NBA merged in 78, 79, 77, how, how good do you really think the talent was? Like, let's just be, let's just put it in theory. Like, just come on. Like, come on. Let the, the NBA just, it's, it's new. It's new. How talented do you like? What do you think they had in place for the talent when the NBA just started? They still had six, seven drafts. 200 men were being drafted every year. 200. How good do you think the talent is if 200 men are being drafted? In the last 20, 30 years, the last 30 years, so it's only been 44, 45, then 210. So how can that league be that good if that many people are being drafted every year? Now, and I said, the 80s wasn't tough. That they didn't, they didn't, they, they, there wasn't a lot of scores in the 80s like that, just natural scores, more defensive players, but they didn't play defense. They just hacked you hard, right? That's not defense. Hacking is not defense. Hacking is hacking, 
right? It wasn't the toughest era. They fouled the hardest. Defense wasn't tough. Everybody, oh, he don't know what he talk about. He don't know basketball. Crazy take, right? Crazy take. Now, this is when I get to say, ha! Who was right? Who was wrong? This is Kevin Garnett talking with the commissioner. Let's hear what the commissioner says. What era was the toughest defensively? In our lives, when the hand check comes back, is that, is that going? Is this kind of the, the wave in which we're going now? I'll answer it coming from the fan in me, which is, and maybe data comes into play here because I can look at television ratings yep. and other measures of yep, interest. Yep. There was a point, I believe, you know, probably in around the late 90s when the game became too physical. Late 90s when the game became too physical. Not late 80s, late 90s. Back then in the 80s, they was punching each other <laughs> when they got mad, right? But it was too physical in the 90s. And maybe data comes into play here because I can look at television ratings yep. and other measures of yep, interest. Yep. There was a point, I believe, you know, probably in around the late 90s when the game became too physical. Mm. And I think we lost some of From viewers, you mean? Yeah, and I think for our fans, from the aesthetic enjoyment of the game, where it de-emphasized the particular skill a player had mm. and maybe weighted too heavily um, physicality, where mm. a big, strong player could come in and prevent a incredibly skilled player from doing those kinds of things. Mm. I think of, not that he's a small guy, but a smaller player like Steph Curry can do on the floor. I think that when you think of... Not the 80s, not the late, like, uh, the late, that's two teams. That's one team, really. Just the bad boys. They think the, they think the whole league played like the bad boys did. Just one team packed you. One team. Like, like Shaq came in and everybody's trying to guard Shaq, so they got to add in all these big men. The defense was like, come on. And this, it shows right here, 88. So this is scoring, average scoring of, the, of, of years. 1987, 108. Next year, 108. Next year, 107. 90, 108, 91. So basically when... Pistons won a two championships. The scoring across the league, 108 at 107.8. 90, 108. 71, 107. 92, 108, 93, 108, 94, 108. Jordan retires. 106. So they had to push the three-point line back in. A lot of players don't know that. They had to push the three-point line in from 24 feet to 22 feet because players couldn't shoot the ball because it went to 106. Then it came back to 108, 97, 108. The late 90s, 97, 98, 105. 98, 99 season, 102. Across the board, 102 they were scoring. 99, 2000, 104. Was this 100 and 100? When I came into the league, 103, then 104, then 103, then 102. The zone kicked in, all that. So that's when it became harder offensively. Oh, man. Mm. And I got here, I got another one I want to show y'all. There's all the smoke. Now, I want y'all to listen to this. This is hilarious. This is hilarious to me. I'm sorry. It just, it just screams delusion. It just screams illusion. But. I be trying to figure out when does reality kick in? But I'm a hater. <laughs> I'm a hater when I point it out, right? They can say it if they get corrected, hater, right? 
When Rick Barry say this era is soft, they couldn't live up, and you correct them, you're the hater. Right? Have y'all ever noticed that? When the older players tell you how soft the uh, era is, how sorry the guys are, if, if we had the technology, we would do that. When they do all that and we respond, we hating on the past. He's doing the physical league it was. Do you feel, how do you feel guys like Steph, LeBron, maybe even Giannis would have fared in that type of physicality and that kind of grind type league? It would have been a slight difference. Um, the way Steph can shoot, I think he, you know, the way he moves without the ball, I think he could survive uh, to have to guard Magic on the other end because we look for matchups. Mm -hmm. All of them you know, we, right. we put a lineup where he's going to have to guard me or Magic or, you know, or, or AC Green or somebody like that who could get offensive rebounds. So I think the the defensive issue would be a little bit different. And, I, you know, um, I remember when the league took away the hand check. And, uh, oh, look at that. That right there starts off as delusion. I like that. You're going to have to guard me. You feel, guys? We're going to put both lineups together. That's what I'm doing. <sighs> it's like Steph, LeBron, maybe even Giannis would have fared in that type of physicality and that kind of grind type lead. It would have been a slight difference. Um, the way Steph can shoot, I think he, you know, the way he moves without the ball, I think he could survive uh, to have to guard Magic on the other end. Because Why would he have to guard Magic? Why would he have to guard Magic? Let's pretend Magic is Luka. He don't guard Luka. We look for matchups. Mm -hmm. All of them you know, we, we put a lineup where he's going to have to guard me. Why would he have to guard you? Why? Why does he have to guard you? Or Magic. Or, you know, or, or A.C. Green. Why do he have to guard A.C. Green? How fucking tall do you think Steph Curry is? The fuck does he have to guard these people for? Y'all don't have Byron Scott, huh? Byron Scott is not your shooting guard, huh? Steph, you guard the dude that's the same height. Clay, you guard Magic. Y'all acting like y'all can shoot the fucking ball. Magic couldn't shoot. Byron Scott shot the ball. You couldn't shoot for shit. Kirk Rambis couldn't shoot for shit. Huh? J uh, who else couldn't shoot for shit? Uh, da, 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 uh, AC Green couldn't shoot for shit. The fuck are y'all talking about? Why would he have to guard you? Huh? Wiggins got you. Hey. He's just going to try to drive. He's going fast break. He's going, he's, he's leaking out. He's cooking. He just had, what? Draymond Green, Kurt Rambis. That means Rome because he couldn't shoot for shit either. Sag. Pick and roll. Go under. Clay. Clay and, Clay and who? Clay and Draymond. Switch. The fuck are y'all going to do? You got Kurt Rambis on the court. Ooh, come in with AC Green. Oh, he's gonna get a lot, a lot of offensive rebounds. <laughs> that's your that's that's your taking advantage. Get a whole lot of offensive rebounds. What is wrong with you guys? You just make up lineups. The question is this. I'll let him explain. You know, somebody like that who would get offensive rebounds. So I think the, the defensive issue would be a little bit different. And I, you know, um, I remember when the league took away the hand check and uh, moved the three-point line in a little bit because guys were coming out of college a little bit more, you know, frequently without having all the fundamentals. But, I, you know, we talk about defensive specialists like Cindy Moncrief, guys like, uh, you know, I mean, you guys played against Bruce Bowen and guys like that where they got to play. Got his ass busted by everybody. Sean Elliott. I, it would be a little bit different. You wouldn't be able to run as freely. And then you would definitely... <laughs> get exposed I, 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 I would see 
just clearing out <laughs> seven times in a row and magic. If you go to guard magic, you know, we, we put in a situation where you got to guard somebody. So it would be a little bit different, but you know, look, the guys today have mastered uh, a style of play. Uh, just like we did in the eighties, mm -hmm. just a little bit. It's a little bit different, uh, a little bit, a little less uh, inside now. You know, your bigs aren't really big. Did that is that what y'all wanted to hear? Hmm. That that bullshit. We want to hear it again. But you know, look, the guys today have massively get exposed. I, I like get that exposed? where they got to play. Sean Elliott. I, it would be a little bit different. You wouldn't be able to run as freely, and then you would definitely. He wouldn't be able to run as freely. Now, here's my fucking question. Since he can't run freely, who's guarding Steph from keeping him from running freely? Magic? Huh? Is Magic picking up Steph full court? Is Magic running and doing? Who the fuck is guarding Steph running around? Huh? Magic. Huh? Because if you put magic on Steph and and he's running Steph all through motherfucking ups and downs and passes and cut, magic ain't running a fast break. So that means magic has to be in some type of shape that he wasn't accustomed to. Huh? Or who's he gonna guard? Clay? Huh? Which one is magic gonna guard? Clay or Steph? Pick one. Pick one. All right? And for the most part, uh, I can tell you what's going to happen. Curry going to do a pick and roll. Which I going to switch out. Kirk Rambis on motherfucker Steph. Huh? Kirk Rambis on Steph. Is that what we go? Is that what we going to do? <laughs> what basketball do y'all be watching? Here, let me. And, you know, sometimes you just got to prove points, right? Because then people start thinking of their own shit and they start creating own narratives. Hey, let, me, let me try it this way. Because the fact that there really, there really wasn't no, no. Now, James Worthy came in right when Norm Nixon was going out, so they don't use that. It's Byron Scott. And Cooper and guys like that. All right, but Magic is going to have to play him or Steph or him or Clay, which means he's going to play Clay. You keep the matchup the same. Now, there was a guard that came in in 1989 90. He was a rookie. He was a rookie. Right, he had his rookie rookie first year. So we're going to go to his second year. 90-91, Magic's, you know, is all NBA player. First team, Magic's all first team NBA this year. And he had to guard a guy who actually scored. The guy wasn't scoring 30 like Steph, but he was considered a scoring guard. His matchup, the dude had 22 points. He's a second-year player, point guard, 22 and 13. Mm-hmm. Oh, first game, first game, wait, what? First game, he had eight, eight and nine, like eight and nine, 22 and 13, 29 and seven, 26 and nine. So his first game against Magic, his second year, he had eight and nine, 22 and 13, 29 and seven, 26 and nine. His name was Tim Hardaway. Right? See, and the reason that I looked for that team is because they had a point guard that scored and a shooting guard that scored. So Mitch Richmond and and um, and Tim Hardaway. So Magic had to guard one of these two. So if you could guard Tim Hardaway who couldn't shoot, how are you going? <laughs> how are you going to guard 
Steph. I was just, yeah. and I'm the one who just be talking. I'm the one that just be talking. I'm the one that just be talking. And then I hit him with fast. Oh, you, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm hating. But they can say it. Oh, we'll stop. We'll do. Now, they're going to do, they're going to isolate whoever, not Kareem, right? They're going to get a ball to AC Green the whole time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure go to City is sitting there like, yeah, just like if y'all let Draymond Green go for 40. That's that's great-ass game plan. Now, Dream, Junior. Now, you remember you said you agreed or, or Rashad agreed with you. Now, this is sometimes what irritates me. I understand when y'all look at the totality of my career, y'all be like, why are you talking? And I always say, you know, because of my injury, that's why y'all talking. But if you say, all right, we're going to stop everyone's career, every player that's ever played by the age of 25, by the age of 25, y'all will understand where I was headed. There's, there's not... 30 players that were all in three time all NBA, three time all stars by the age of 25. Everybody you name besides me because I got hurt are Hall of Famers. Right? So when you when you talk about just so you can put it in perspective, Allen Iverson would not be in that list. Curry we're not being that list, just so we understand. You know, but so sometimes when I talk, right, like mentally, I was, I was mentally thinking differently. So sometimes there's only certain type of minds that can think the same. And you're about to see that we had someone who was considered the Michael Jordan of women's basketball. Now, it's weird that me and her speak the same language. Defensive strategy that neutralized the fuck out of the Lakers. And that's where you look at the Spurs. You had the four Spurs, scores on that team, though. Who's? What team? The, 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 the Pistons? Yeah. No, there wasn't four scores on that team. So Rasheed was, Wallace does not score? He's a defensive player. Rasheed Wallace is was a def He was a dual th This is, this is this is what I gotta argue with all the time. Rashid Wallace. Rashid Wallace never made not one defensive team. A guy who averaged 19, 19, 18, 16, 17, 20. No, well, that 20 don't count because it was it was just for one game. But 19, 19, like he was a top power forward in scoring, and he just called him a defensive player. Just to, just to try to prove a point. But he was more defense. More defense. Being smart on defense is not... Rasheed Wallace? Yes, Damn. Rasheed Wallace. You heard her. Damn. <laughs> she was confused. No, he was great at defense, but he was top three. Then there's a, a score. But he... Rashid was a scorer. He was both. He was a, no. he was a combo big. Yeah, but he's... But so I mean, offensively, him and Rip. Scorer. Him and Rip were the offensive job. Offensive now. score. So him... You, you, now you... Okay. Do y'all see this shit... Right? He just called him a defensive player. Ten seconds later, he says, him and Rip was the offensive juggernauts. Both. He was, no. a, he was a combo big. Yeah, but he's but so that's, offensive. Him and Rip. Score. Him and Rip were the offensive juggernauts. Offensive score.
too. Tayshawn can score, yeah. but they and, played together. And Big big they, Shot was a score. They all played together. But what I'm saying is they're scores. They're not just, a, like, they're not Ben Wallace. What do you mean? They all played cohesively where they didn't have to score big big amount no, but, of points. No, no, not being able to, not scoring and not being able to score is two different things. Like Ben Wallace couldn't score. Yeah. No matter what you did, Ben Wallace could score. score no, bro. Why what, are you diminishing that score. man? What are you talking about? Ben Wallace can play, bro. Play what? Basketball. <laughs> no, no, okay. Basketball, bro. Okay. Just be- like this is feelings, man. This has nothing to do with reality. Like that's the problem. There's feelings and reality. So two guys that can score aren't scores now. Rip Hamilton averaged seven, 17 points for his career. Score. Where's Billups? Obviously, Billups was a score. That year, he was at was it 17, 17, 18, 17, 17, 19.5. Score. So that's three scores so far. And as the third option, 14, 14, 14, 14, third, like Tayshawn was the third option scoring 14 points a game. Now, where is you at, Ben Wallace? Let's. Now. Because he's in an offense where he's not getting the you ball and he's doing no shit. Beef. Come no, no, on, no, no, man. Bro. So what? Basketball. <laughs> no, 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 okay. Basketball, bro. Okay. Just because he's in an offense where he's not getting the you ball and he's doing no shit. No beef. Come no, no, on, no, man. Saying, so you're talking about if team decided <laughs> on, to throw man. him the ball 20 times, he was going to be some some scoring juggernaut. Man, he wasn't going to be no uh, goose egg, zero points. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure he has a... Ben Wallace... For year averages on offense, one. That means he, he, he played 34 games, averaged one point that year. Three, six, 4.8, 6.4, 7.6, 6.9, 9.5, 9.7, 9.7, 7.3, 6.4, 4.8, 5.1, 4.2, 2.9, 5.5, 2.9, 1.4. 5, 5, what the fuck am I missing? He didn't even average 10 for a season. But something's wrong with me, right? Something's wrong with me. I call him, he's not a scorer. (laughs) And he said, only because of that team. I just did his whole career. Something wrong with me, huh? <laughs> Something wrong with me. I called him a defensive player. He got 17 rebounds, zero points. 0 for 4. Mm-hmm. 10 rebounds, two points. One point. One point. He's all he made the all-star this year. One point, one point, two points, two points, one point, two point. He he made the all-star. A bunch of goose eggs. <laughs> Why though, Gil? You know, it's not because he, he's trash, it's because he played on a team he don't need to score. No, before it's he, called your role. Before they was on that team, he was zero. Before he, he was, was still being team, a defensive player. Because he was a defensive player. That's because that was his role. Like if you gave Draymond the ball a hundred times and say, yo, go, go give us 40, it's not happening. You, listen, Draymond <laughs> would disagree with you. 
I don't give a fuck if he disagrees with me. Is it a fact or a lie? <laughs> like, like all this, uh, my opinion, and I don't give a fuck about opinions. Is either true or false. That's it. Either true or false. Shit, to be, to be honest, Ben Wallace scoring went up when Rashid got there. When Rashid wasn't there, 6.9, 7.6, 6.4, 4.3. <laughs> <laughs> when he had to be the main scorer down there. Hell no. So Rashid was, Wallace not scoring. Rip, him and Rip were the all cohesively where they didn't have to score. Yeah. No matter what you did, he couldn't could score. score no, bro. Why are you diminishing that score. man? What are you talking about? Ben Wallace can play, bro. Play what? Basketball. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Basketball, bro. Okay. Just because he's in an offense where he's not getting the he ball, he's doing it. No Come no, on, no, no, man. Bro. So you're talking about if the team decided <laughs> on, to throw man. him the ball 20 times, he was going to be some some scoring jerk. Man, he wasn't going to be no uh, goose egg, zero points. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure he has a bunch of goose eggs. <laughs> Why, though, Gil? You're not, it's not score? because he, he's trash. It's because he played on a team. He don't need to score. No, before it's he, called your role. Before he was on that team, he was zero. Before He, he was, was still being team, a defensive player. Because he was a defensive player. That's because that was his role. Like if you gave Draymond the ball 100 times and say, yo, go, go give us 40, it's not happening. You, listen, Draymond hey, would disagree with you. I'm pretty sure he would. Just because the player would disagree doesn't make it fat. Hey, <laughs> if someone said Steph Curry and Magic are the top two point guards ever, and I say I'm three, right? And the whole world says no. Just because I disagree with the world don't make me motherfucking number three. But don't make me three because I disagree with what everybody else is saying. Jesus Christ. Wouldn't. Uh, he's already said it. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. On Podcast P, he said, man, I'm a guy who go out and get mine, but it, when people are sagging off me, it make me think that I can't play. And I know I can play. And I That's the dumbest statement I've just heard. When people sag off of me, it makes me think I can't play, but I know I can play. <laughs> y'all hear y'all y'all hear how dumb this sounds? The defense is sagging because they don't think I can score, but I I know I can score. But you're not proving them wrong. It. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. On Podcast P, he said, man, I'm a guy who go out and get mine, but it, when people are sagging off me, it make me think that I can't play, and I know I can play, and I know I can score. Knowing, knowing, and, knowing and doing it is two different things. You got, uh, there's what? 15. Right, right? Like, like, that's just like, you know, a shooter who can't shoot. People sag off me. They make me think I can shoot. I can't shoot, but I know I can shoot. Well, fucking shoot it. Let's see. Shut the fucking ball. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Right? I, I'm like, like this, this, this notion of what I think actually, he thinks it actually matters. I think I'm a billionaire. <laughs> you know, people say I'm not a billionaire, but I know I'm a billionaire. Because I think it. So let me check my bank account to see if I'm a billionaire now. Nope. <laughs> Still not a billionaire. Fucking dummies. Team players on the team. 14 of the players think they're the stars of the team, right? Am I right or wrong? Right? You're For wrong. The 14, you're wrong, and you know you're wrong. 14 players on the team actually think they are the stars, and they no, think they should man. be getting the minutes. And just because you think it doesn't mean it's reality. It's basketball, man. You fit into a position on a team where you're in a role. This is my role. I know I'm not the star. Well, if I played on... Everybody, everybody, everybody thinks that they <laughs> are, better, are than better than what they are, and especially... Those who are like on the bench, it's like, man, I just, I, I just, just, just let me get in the game. Yeah. And then they get in the game, and you're not better than what you thought you are. It's some, not all. <laughs> See, and it's coming from a guy 
who is on the bench, who hold problem. Remember how he, we've heard him talk, right? Everything he says about his time in um, Wolves, he thought he shouldn't be on the bench because he was better than the starters. He didn't like his role because he thought he was better than the starters. The people who were starting, he thought he was better than. And it pissed him off that he was on the bench. Man, he couldn't understand why he's sitting on the bench behind these sorry players. Right? That, that, that's him. Now he's pretending that that's not the thought process on the bench, coming from the guy who only thought like that. Uh, it's re reality uh, is reality. I can right. tell you, it's, it's a lot of teams that won championships where guys knew their role. No, there ain't, there ain't no. See, this has no, like you see what he says, he makes a, a point that has nothing to do with, of course there's players that knew their role and won championships. The fuck does it have to do with what we're talking about right here? Of course. They're, they're not, there's not no, I think I'm better than Kobe. I need those shots. I need, no. You know that's Kobe Bryant. You know that's Shaquille O'Neal. You know that's Michael Jordan. You know that's Gilbert Arenas. You know these are guys that are better than you. You're not going to go in the game thinking I need those shots. But that's why those players are great role players because they understand that. Like, stop, you're proving a point that is not actually part of the argument. What he's saying right now has nothing to do what were we talking about? We didn't talk about, we're talking about Ben Wallace being a scorer <laughs> and Draymond Green. That's what, we're not talking about, you know, people winning championships because they know their roles. I'm going to fit in, get in where I fit in, where I'm at, what I need to do. I need to screen for Gilbert. Well, that's, I'm going to, I'm going to screen that's not for the argument. Gilbert. Like knowing your, knowing, knowing your role is knowing your role, but saying, okay, let's take Kobe off and you get the 20 shots. Can you do it? No, it ain't about can you do it. You just said you think you can do it. Yeah, everyone thinks, thinks they can. No, I, no, you think. You said <laughs> about thinking, not me. Everyone I thinks they can go out and do it. <laughs> yeah, you, you, a, you didn't put in the work that Kobe put in. <laughs> of That's course. what I'm saying. The thought I mean, process. You think, you think Ben Wallace puts put in the work to I'm going to post stuff a hundred times? Listen, bro. I was, when we throw I the ball was there in 04. When they throw the ball down to him, do a move, big fella. I was down there with them, bro. Get, get, get the ball back out here. Speaking of somebody putting in the work, uh, we got. I just, it just makes no sense, man, where, like, he played in the NBA. Like, okay, Ticket's not going. So you, you think there's somebody on the team that can do exactly what Ticket does. He's trying to pretend that this is a real thing. Right? right Ticket's out, and then someone's going to go in there and average 22 and 12. Okay, Ben Wallace, Rasheed Wallace, you're off the court. Ben Wallace, you're going to get Rasheed's uh, shot attempts. Well, he had those shot attempts before Rasheed got there. He averaged seven. Let's talk a little bit about Giannis. <laughs> After spending some time with Akeem this summer. Sometimes, don't say that. Don't, don't, don't say some, time. Don't say some time. Give anything triggered. over a second when you, is triggered. some time. Stop triggering okay, Anything How over many, a second. Hold on. Stop How triggering. time did he spend with Three days. days. That's Stop a, triggering. That is not spending some time. <laughs> well, thank you. They what are we calling? Yeah, hey, y'all can't diminish what she say. The, the Michael in her in her time, she was the Michael Jordan of women's basketball. Okay, I said that ain't no time. Three damn days. No. She she agrees. Thank you. They what are we calling? No. That? If you spend three days with somebody, what do we call that? Three Not days. Three days. Thank you. So or, it's sometimes. So, no, sometimes no. is like weeks. Weeks. So what would so After what are we, some significant what time terminology? Is hey, Josiah, ask him what terminology do you need to use for A couple the three hours. days? No, you for say, the three days. You say he. <laughs> there was seventy-two hours. I went to visit my homie. <laughs> I went you to visit my homie. He spent, he spent three days. He spent three days. Tell us, don't, don't say you spent some time. No, I you... just said, because when I hear some time, I'm like, damn, he, what, he moved to Houston? Yeah, like, thanks. was he there all summer? He moved he to Houston you. for three days. Sometimes. Now, now, to the <laughs> <a> weekend. <laughs> yeah, to the weekend. When someone. That ain't sometimes. That's <laughs> enough time to go to Trail Burger, get some no. workouts <laughs> in. You, yes. you go catch up it, with Slim. The headline here, he spent a couple hours. <laughs> Hour and a half today, tomorrow, hour and a half. So he spent the full five hours. But right? you don't know so, if they... When you're here, when you're here... Here's my thing. You can't go 
put in some time with Dream for three days. You can, why not? And, Thank and, you. Why not? No, no, no. Let me say. Why not? You can't put in three days and think you're ready. But he, that ain't the reason why he did it. That wasn't the reason why he went that. See. Okay, what's well, see, 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 now, 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 right? She's telling like you, like, it, that's why I said it, it makes it, it, it makes it frustrating that, you know, people can think that, you know, you can get fast and, you know, in hours. I don't give a fuck who you training with, who you think you are. Skills don't work like that. Life don't work like that, right? So when, when I'm reading it and I'm thinking, wait, hold on, three days before, five days before training camp, save your money. What the fuck are you spending $50,000 to go down there for a week, three days? Save your money. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of money. Like if you really, like when we talk about really, like trying to be great. Same thing she said. You moved down there and you spent time down there working. Someone who was a great player, a great score. She's telling you out her mouth. It don't work like that. Give me the context. See, see, here we go. Here we go. Context, we why, go. Why was context is okay. this. Okay. It's the fact that he's about to argue with the Michael Jordan. Hakeem Olajuwon. Yes. One. I get to work out with the dream as a fellow Nigerian African countryman. Mm -hmm. I've never had this opportunity. Greco Nigerian. I worked out with Kobe. I worked out with KG. This is my opportunity to work out with him. I don't care if it's two days, two hours, two months. It don't. So that's matter. why he went down there. That's what to I'm saying. Out. So diminish the, the so to diminish the time. You see how she said to work out. There's a difference between working out <laughs> and training. Went down there and just say, oh yeah, Hakeem worked me out. He got rebounds. He taught me some things that I, the workout. Not, not skill development or trying to enhance something. Wherever long he was down there, it didn't, he wasn't going down there to say, I'm going to use these three days to say I got better and got ready for the season. I went down there to see what Dream can possibly give me. Now, maybe well, next year. Well, let's see what Dream gave him. Let's, I, not, I, I, listen, I, <laughs> let's see what Dream gave him. You, you, same thought. Let's see what the guy, let, let's see what the, the motherfucker gave. That, she's ready. Let's just see what he gave him. Because she already know what it is. She know damn well, ain't no damn way Dream him gave him something he going to use in a season in three motherfucking days. But you see how. McCants is trying to change it. Oh, you know, I went down there to hang out with a Nigerian. I went to hang out with a fellow man. I went to go. You went publicly to say you're about to go down there to try to enhance your skill. Now it's, I just went to go hang out with a friend. You see how they moved? You see how they moved the goalposts when they wrong? I don't even got to say I know what he gave him. Let me say. Same shit he gave to other players. So, let let, let's take a look at <laughs> the same thing. He gave, that time. The same thing he gave Joel Embiid to win MVP. He didn't give Joel Embiid nothing. Joel Embiid. Never worked out. You see, like, he, now he's giving him a player. Like, he never worked out with Joel Embiid. He never worked out with, with um, Jokic. Like, I hate when people do that. You bring up examples of players that they never even worked out. Like, why, why do people do that? We know who he worked out. Oh, he worked out Kobe. So Kobe didn't have no footwork before he went to Dream. He was not a three-time champion and had all his footwork before he went to Dream. I bet. I'll let you lie to me. I'll let you lie to me. Mm-hmm. With him, he don't have to. Oh, oh, he don't have. No, to. We're not doing that. We're <laughs> not you, doing that. Hey, we're worked out with him. He don't have. To. I just said I know what he gave. Look at the look at the R. Now y'all see why I get angered. <laughs> y'all see this is what I'm dealing with.
Let me see. Same shit he gave the other players. So let let, let's take a look at <laughs> the same thing. The same thing, that he, gave, the same thing he gave Joel Embiid to win MVP. He didn't give Joel Embiid nothing. Joel Embiid. Never worked out with him. He don't have to. Oh, no, oh, no, we're not doing that. We're not when doing you, that. Hey, when you want to be Hakeem Olajuwon, no, we're not doing that. Like, when you want to be Hakeem Olajuwon, and you're down here doing Hakeem no, Olajuwon no, moves and footwork. No, we're not going to do that. We're not. And you, and you average 33 a game. No, you're not. You gonna, don't need to go meet Hakeem and work out with him. You already got his shit. No, we're not going to. Gonna, you not, already got We're not going to give you... Now, not, Giannis don't got it, so he need to go meet... You're not going to just go give somebody who has footwork and say, this is Hakeem's product. Hakeem's product has to be from Hakeem. No, it doesn't. It does. No, it doesn't. Does. Does. Can we see the Kobe clip? Kobe Bryant it didn't does. work with Michael Jordan. Kobe yeah. Bryant didn't work with Michael Jordan. Can we right. see the clip? Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. Ah! No, yeah, no. I got go back. the beginning. Sorry. Go back. I missed the beginning. Travel. Oh, that was a travel. Did they call it? Wait, did they call it? Oh, that was a travel. She said the same thing. Oh my god. Did they that call was it? A travel. Did they call it? You hear him? Did they call it? Right? That's his that's his angle now. Did they call it? That's a travel. Did they call it? They never called it. Did they, okay, they so it's not a travel. But that's so if I rob so if I rob a bank and don't get oh, called, no. you're yeah, not I'm, I'm a bank robber. No, you're not. I'm a bank robber. No, you're not. You savvy, you. What I'm saying. You're not a bank robber if you rob a bank and don't get caught. Hi. <laughs> <Hi. laughs> no, 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 no. He does not be trolling. He be for real. That is such a troll. I know. Did they what? call it? It don't matter. Just because you didn't get caught. Like, I don't care about none of this. It's the beginning. Come on, man. It's the beginning. Wait, Same uh, thing. Same thing I said. Uh, uh, what was going on? Wait a minute. That is a bad travel. But not did they close. call did it? Not even did, close. Did, did they call but it? I'm asking, did he travel? Of course he traveled. Okay. A dream, your man who agreed with you just fucked you all up right there. She asked him a direct question. Did he travel? And he said, of course he did. Now, is this the delusion that you know he traveled. You see, he's teaching travel. But you're defending his, his training just because. As a friend, this is the, the number one friend you would like to have, right? right? You go out and cheat on your girl. She has all the evidence. He looks at the evidence and he still defends you, right? That, this is the kind of friend you want during those times, <laughs> right? Move the goalposts and start saying random shit. Get all confused and shit. That's him, right? I'm getting in trouble. First nigga I'm calling, McCants. I got you, boss. <laughs> I got you, player. He going to fucking get, get your girl all confused and shit. Did they call it? No, they didn't call it. But did it travel, McCance? Hell yeah, he traveled. <laughs> but did they call it, though? Oh, shit. Damn it. Hakeem's product has to be from Hakeem. I don't care about none of this. It's the beginning. Come on, man. It's the beginning. Wait, same uh, thing. Same thing I said. Uh, 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 what was going on? Wait a minute. That is a bad travel. But not did they close. call did it? Not even did, close. Did, did they call but it? I'm asking, did he travel? Of course he traveled. Okay. But it's not a travel. And I said this. But it's not a travel. Travel disaster to the bucket. You know what I said is, I said, <laughs> when it first happened, I said, well, you go, you're going all the way down there. You spend $50,000 for uh, I said, you're going to spend $50,000 to travel because of this. Like, it's not, it has nothing to do with, it has nothing when, to when do with. When he went down there to spend some time with it, is what you're saying? No, because, because, because of the time. Look, look, the timing want, is this. He want him to be perfect. The timing is He'll three want him to be perfect. The timing is three weeks, three days or five days before training camp. If you really want to go down there and work on your post game and say you're working on your post game, that should have started in the summer. Mm. So the fact that. The fact that the, the narrative is he's going down there to get better, you just take away every great person who put in months of training to get better to make it seem like it can happen in three days. But he never he, said he, that, he Gilbert. Said you Gilbert. put that sauce on no, there. No, he dude, never came out. Y'all put your sauce off. No, you did You just that. changed your narrative. How? Because you said he went out there to learn this and no, do I that. No, I did not. That I said that's first. what you get when you get there. And what did he get? He got to talk to his Damian Lillard. He got to, this nigga paid 50. Listen to him. He paid $50,000 to talk to his hero. <laughs> you see how far they done moved this gold post, y'all? This started with $50,000. You ain't going to learn shit but to travel. He tried to move, travel. Now it's, I went down there to talk to the man. And like it. 
to talk to his hero, bro. At, at the end of the day, what are you, you talking about? At the end of the day, you can. He say never said I'm you... going down there to get better. Yeah, he did. And that, no, he didn't. He did. When? Show everybody. it to me. Show Every, it to everybody. me. All, so all, I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, he just happened to prove he your point, bro. My point is already proven. It ain't. It's yes. proven. It ain't. Yes. Because he went down there for three days. Instinct. He Came went down there for three days. Food travel. But they didn't call it. But they didn't call it. They didn't call it. They did. didn't call it. <laughs> did they call it? They didn't call it is, listen to, listen to this art. They didn't call it is the defense. Not if it's a travel. Did they call it? But he knows it's a travel. And I'm saying, why would you go spend $50,000 to learn how to travel? You can do this shit for free. Like, why are you going down anywhere to learn how to do something bad? Because that's going to cost you at some point. But come on, like, let's just be honest. Why would you go learn something that's not the right way? Right? If I'm going to if I'm going to go learn from Michael Jordan or if I'm going to learn from Steph Curry and I want to be taught like the correct way. I don't give a fuck if the NBA is going to call it or not. I want to be taught the actual correct way on how to do something. Like, oh, they might call it, they might not. Nigga, don't teach me a three-step move, nigga, if I only really get two steps. Teach me two steps. Don't teach me the hookup plan. Like, I want to learn it the right way first. If I get away with a travel, I get away with a travel. But don't teach me a motherfucking travel. Call it, no. <laughs> no, they didn't. Not a travel. Oh, my God. First well, movie, tried it, travel. Like so that's, like, that's like that's like saying you, know, you go see somebody's kid play. You're like, man, look, he carry, carry, carry. Look, he carrying, but ain't nobody calling carry but you. So who's the hater? Somebody in the stands keeps saying carry, no, 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 no. and he not carrying because they not calling it. Obviously, Jamal Crawford, man, he should say he carry all the time. Jamal said this to me. He said, hey, man, I've been doing this for 15 years. They ain't called carry once on me. <laughs> Stop saying that. It ain't no carry if they don't call it. So, cool. Uh, my, so my, if my, I, my question is, like, if he was only wanting to talk to a king, just call him on the phone. He went man, down to work wanna, with him. Why you think I got to call him on the phone? No, he so, wanted to go I, see I, him, I, man. So he, so he wanted to go work out with him. And learn. So, and learn that. So he could get better. Mm -hmm. He just wanted like, to spend hey, some just time like, with the legend. It's a question. Just like Ch Chelsea Gray saying, it's been a dream of mine to work with Cheryl Swoops if I could just get a day. If I could just get work, a day. But I'm not just going to do you. a day. So, but if I saw Would you do three days? That's all I'm They're not Ben Wallace. What do you mean? The nigga. She said, I'm not just going to do a day because it. Carry, carry. Look, ain't no carry if they don't call it. Get better. Mm hmm. He wanted like, to spend hey, some time like, with the legend. It's a question. Just like Ch Chelsea Gray saying, it's been a dream of mine to work with Cheryl Swoops if I could just get a day. If I could just get work, a day. But I'm not just going to do you. a day. So, but if I saw Would you do three That's all she got. No, not three That's all she got. I, she said, I, I just, I got to don't, Then you don't want to get better. Right, I'm sorry. She's not, she not saying she's trying to get better. She just want to work, work out. Work I just want to talk so to my, 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 my icon. No, because my thing is this. I don't, I don't want to just get in the gym with you for a day because you wasted my time. Thank you. What if she got 50000 for you? So my point, we can talk. Okay. See, and that's, we got fifty thousand. We can talk, and that's that was my original issue. That was my original issue. That you're taking their money because it's fifty thousand. No, and I, I'm not gonna really teach you shit. Like, but if you're gonna pay me, you're gonna pay me. And that that, and that's when people started bringing up. Well, why does he need the fifty thousand if he already? You know, he got he's worth three hundred million because niggas stupid enough to give him fifty thousand. That that's the reason he's taking it. I, I, hey, I, hey, Gil, I want to come and work out with you for you know three days. Here's fifty thousand. Bet fifty thousand no, for you. Know, you know, but what's so funny? Say it again. No, we, we can, can talk. talk. In the gym for fifty thousand, I'll teach you how to bark like a dog. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Bring your goofy ass out here. For fifty thousand, I got fifty thousand yeah, for exactly. You. For fifty thousand, we okay. can talk. And you can you can show her some stuff. Yeah, for fifty thousand, yeah. yeah. you can show her some stuff. We can spend yeah. some time together. Did you look look at today and say, yeah, yeah, I saw some stuff for fifty thousand now. Are you for are 50, you going for fifty thousand? 
We you, can get in the gym for You can hour. spend some time and, with and, 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 and then, okay. That's all I want to hear. Will you get her? Thank you very much. Is she going to get That's all he wanted to hear, and he think he's won some type of argument. Because she would take the, she said before, it's a waste of her time. You throw a price tag, oh, yeah, we can talk. So I asked the real question, did she get better? Better in that hour. No. Okay. But, hey. <laughs> Everybody, well, both thing. sides are, are pl yeah. pleased, right? Well, here's my I'm thing. pleased, you please, yes. we good. Because because at this point, all you're really wanting to do is say, oh my God, I'm a fan, I love you, yes. I just want to be in the gym with you. Yes. I got 50,000. Yes. I'm like, all right, cool, let's go to the gym. And I'm, a, okay. and I'm a champion, and I'm an MVP, Ooh. and I'm all these, Ooh. and we both from uh, where we're from, uh -huh. and I, w I always wanted to meet you and, and, and figure this uh -huh. out. Now, now, people who got $50,000, Right, to go train with someone. Does this, how he's talking, and you heard her answer, do you want to spend $50,000 now to go learn how to get better from your hero? You hear how she's sounding, right? You're not going to learn shit. I get into the gym with you. Yeah. Right? All you motherfuckers out there thinking, oh, it's Hakeem, he got this good footwork, and da 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 A legend's telling you that's not how it works. But if you're going to pay me $50,000, i will come over here and, woo, nice, keep going. Oh, yeah. Keep, oh, nice. Right? She's letting you know you're not going to get better. Now does that 50000 sound like it's something you want to pay to go get better? No. You're going there just to be able to say I worked out with the dude. But did you learn something from the dude? No. Was my whole point. And they tried to change it, and now you see what 50,000 sounds like. I get to go say I worked out with my Nigerian buddy and his Hakeem, and woo, we had a drink together, and yay, and woo. That's what your 50,000 gets you. A picture you can post on Instagram. <laughs> Don't, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not, you're not, well, I'm sorry. That's what, you, that's what you, you do when you get. And he happy about it too. Roast it. No, you, you got to do you all this. You can all this shit. Listen, at the end of the day, See. at the end of the day, all you guys. Drew, correct. 50,000 to be a groupie. It's who said he was going down there, he's gonna get back this package. You fucking seen it. But we didn't. I, I said it. You said it. I said it, you killed me. Product there. But product. Product what? You can't change the track, you can't change, we, you can't change the footwork. We came with no but expectations, and, and Giannis didn't actually pay Hakeem, so. It don't matter. There you I'm go. It don't matter. There you go. So you get what you pay for. So you get what you pay for. And what I and what did I say? You can do that shit for free. You, what I say, you can travel for free. You can travel for free. So Gil, you had the internet going nuts after your viral uh, travel tweet from your Twitter account, uh, but the legend, Milton the ball with Chivas. both feet on the floor, okay. lifts his right foot, making his left foot his pivot foot. Then he lifts his pivot foot before releasing the ball to start his dribble, making that a travel. As he starts his spin, he ends his dribble on left foot for gather, pivot foot step one on right, non-pivot step two on left, legally pivots and steps, and as you can see, his defender makes contact with his pivot foot, which is why I believe this portion wasn't called a travel, but I do believe he does need to be more disciplined with his pivot foot. And I know y'all been mad at Gil for the whole Hakeem thing, but he does travel. make a couple yes, valid points. Travel. Let's check out Melo in the lab with him as well. He rips it through and lifts his pivot foot before releasing the ball to start his dribble, which is a travel. I believe that should be That's corrected on the spot. In this clip, he's in a lab with JaVale McGee. I think that should be corrected on the spot was my whole thing, right? When I said this from the beginning, I said, ain't no damn way you pay me 50000 I'm just going to continue to let you travel. That was my whole argument. As a trainer, as a trainer, I'm not going to just let you keep fucking doing the same move traveling. That looks bad on me. No, I'm going to stop you right there in real time, and I'm going to teach you how to do it correctly in real time. Then I'm going to put some defense on you to show you how it's supposed to be done. Like, do it on defense. Everybody understand this concept, but the ones who want to argue. And Amari Stoudemire. Amari rips it through. 
It lifts his pivot foot before releasing the ball to start his dribble, making that a travel as well. And here we go to a separate workout. Him travel. demonstrating, lifting his pivot foot before releasing the ball to start <laughs> his dribble, traveling there as well. But then Marcin Gortat tries to move and does the same exact thing. Lifts that pivot foot before releasing the ball to start his dribble, traveling as well. And then another rep right after, the same exact <laughs> way. And here's Hakeem demonstrating again, ripping the ball through, lifting his pivot foot before releasing the ball to start his dribble, travel there as well. The details are always everything, especially when it comes to teaching. And in multiple different training videos i see the same lack of discipline so as players start their drill that was so funny to me. Well, who the fuck is this nigga talking yep. that was social media I icon no show me the nigga that said <laughs> shit hey man listen <laughs> let's just be honest all these nba all these nba players spending fifty thousand dollars go to houston they just fucking thoughts how about that they just whores <laughs> i'm going to pay to go see daddy that's it that's it i'm paying fifty thousand dollars to be a groupie that's it about to leave there with no skill and a sore ass. <laughs> oh my God, they paying 50, I'm about to go pay for it. God damn. Dream about that pipping them hoes. For real? About to go in there. And then they on the Instagram with they poop. <laughs> he giving them, <laughs> he giving them an hour of their time in a picture. Yeah, put that on the Instagram. Look, I, <laughs> Oh, that's all that ain't getting out there, y'all. A hug with the dream. <laughs> God damn, Hakeem. Hey, man, look, I'm sorry. I ain't mean to fuck up your work. I didn't mean to fuck up your work, Hakeem. That's motherfucking work. If I had to see work, the work paying to take pictures with him now. That's what that is. God damn. Tell him to bring his ass out here and show me what's hey. not a travel. Shout out to MWW well, basketball. I hear, I hear everybody talking about what is. Break down everybody oh, else's footage. Oh, man. I was going to say, I can show you travel. My 16-year-old son, we did the same moves, and I can show you what I'm is not calling travel. travel every time you, you make a move. You can't. Travel. You can't. Travel. You can't. Carry. My son has travel. footwork. My son has footwork. Double dribble. <laughs> what are we doing? I don't. But, I don't I'm sorry. See, I don't play that. When they don't, I don't call play that, it. I don't play the 50,000. They, they don't call it. I don't play the 50,000, take your money, put you through a workout. If you come to me and say, I want to get better at this, I'm going to have all your tapes ready. I want to see what you do. Why are you traveling? Okay, you move too fast. You're too athletic. We need to slow you down. So I need to emphasize, stop you in real time. Like, I I'm sorry. I I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm more detailed. Tell but, him. But if this legacy, if his legacy protects him from calling out his travel, right, his championships and how great of a legacy he was, protects him from being a trainer, Okay. Gilbert, why don't you just tell the world what you really want to tell them? <laughs> I tell them tell, no, no. Tell them that you're just a better trainer than he is. Oh, that's no cap. So just say <laughs> that. Without, I, I, so I, why I, don't I, you... I know, that wasn't even fucking... That wasn't even on the... the, the uh, who, 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 who? I didn't... That wasn't even part of... like. That's just like him saying, like, if they ask him, are you better than Gil? Like, why are we even discussing this? This is not even part of a topic. We already know the answer to that. Duh. But just isn't it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't have to trash him. You don't have to trash him. Hold on. This you don't have to trash him. Hold on. First of all, this is not even a competition about who's that. That just like when he says but our career, just like he says our careers are not the same. I can't argue with the goat. With that, did he say top three? He said that? No, I'm saying if he did, I can't argue with our resume. No, but but this training shit. Don't don't. So don't that's what I'm saying. don't just pretend. Say, no, no, no. Just say that because he's not. Don't, he don't need to challenge me. This is not even a conversation. But he wasn't but challenging don't try you, to, you're don't, challenging him. What I'm saying is don't try to make it sound like I'm saying something that's real. Like you can come over there, work three days, and think you're about to get this whole package. I'm about to get this knowledge. I'm about to, that's not how fucking greatness works. And the fact that you are deminimizing it to make it seem you like keep, it's that easy But you keep to saying do. it like that's why he went down. See, Rashad is one of them dudes that if someone say, yeah, <laughs> I can turn your 4,800 to 2 million, right? And I'd be like, hey, don't do that. <laughs> Never, I'm going to bring you back 2 million. And I'm sitting there calculating like 4,800, 2 million. Human, human behavior says that if someone has 2 million in hand, he ain't giving it to you first, right? He's going to give it to himself. So that means he got to make about what? 4 million, 4 million after taxes, that's 2 million. He still can't give it to you. So he has to make about 10 million. That gives him about 8 million. He can give you two, keep six. Possible if he's 
a decent human. Other than that, he's going to keep the whole 8 million and give you back 4,800. He might double and give you 10 and tell you to fuck off. Other than that, I, if I'm not, if I do that, I'm a hater. He's the type of dude that be like, no, 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 stop hating on the dude. He can turn 48 into 2 million. <laughs> All right, there you go. You lost your 4,800 right there. Down there, Gilbert. He wanted to hang out that. with Akeem. Stop doing that, bro. So, so he was not going to work with Akeem. No. better. No. no. He was he, going down to fuck with him. Look, look how this man just done changed the whole narrative. He said he was going down there to work out and get better. Now, another a spokesperson is talking about, nah, he just went down there to hang out. Man, this is, this, yeah, yeah, this is how I went to go hang out with my man, not a man's now. Oh, this is how he justifies that travel. Oh, I, I, he was just going down and hang out. And I was going to pay 50,000. <laughs> I'll say this. If we can pull up footage, if we could pull up footage from Giannis last year before he rock with a king, I bet you could pull up some travels. All I know is I can't wait to see. I them, bet you can pull up some travels. Them two big ass two years ago stomping you out. What is that? Yeah, he, he was traveling last year and a year before. That's why he's going down there to work on his footwork. To come back and continue. Okay. Uh, the king. Uh, uh, but you, you stomp me out because I'm right. I, I'm trying to figure out what the problem is. What's the problem? What's the real problem here? Am I right? Like if if we said Jordan is a horrible general manager, will we be right or wrong? Right? <laughs> then I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, he won six championships. He did this, he did this. What is his legacy of playing got to do with his, mm -hmm. his, his, this? What is his legacy of his footwork on how he played have to do with how he's teaching. I mean, but you can... It's a difference. All great players are not great teachers. All great teachers are not great players, right? So stop trying to mix it up and say, oh, I'm attacking his... I never said he was sorry. I'm he's, not mixing he's nothing three. up, man. He's I'm giving three. you facts. The facts is travel. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Fact. But if you're saying that... <laughs> he said, I know. <laughs> he said, I know. <laughs> You went and taught your son his moves and did it better than him, bro. That's you saying I'm a better trainer than him. I am. That's all I mean, but I'm that, saying. Just say that. But it wasn't a competition about it. It has nothing to do with training. It has nothing to do with training. Like if you're going to go teach and you're going to have dreams, workout stuff, take it serious. But there was no reason to bash like you were, him. I didn't bash him. What would you call it? See, that's what the, the, they think that what I said is bashing him. <laughs> I said... Don't go down there and pay 50000 to learn how to travel. <laughs> That's it. That's not bashing him. I'm not saying that he was traveling. His moves when he was doing it was this, that, that. No, I'm saying what he's been teaching for the last 20-some years has been... A, they, they haven't been getting better. What would I call it? <laughs> what would you call it? <laughs> Saying, I'd be damn if I pay $50,000 for the camera. Well, I'll, I'll be, oh, let me show Have y'all noticed that not one person who's came at me actually worked out with Hakeem? Right? They always use, oh, Paul Pierce said this. Paul Pierce never worked out with Hakeem. He was talking about Hakeem's legacy, not his training. Uh, and then you had... Um, who just who who just says something? Um, um, Ross Strickland never worked out with Hakeem. Right? Everyone who's defending Cooper never worked out. Not not nobody who worked out with Hakeem has said anything about Hakeem training. You keep trying to prove me wrong by using his resume as a player. Like use his resume as a trainer. I'm talking about his training. Use examples of his training, right? Like when, when I say use examples, I don't mean use examples of three guards. He's a big man trainer. You're talking about, oh, if the big man get the moves and the big man and the big man, oh, I didn't think of the big... He has 20 years of big man. 20 years of working out big man. And you're telling me y'all can't find one example? Really? Why are you still defending it? You just, just say, hey, Gil, you won. Let's move the fuck on.
You're telling me all the big man that's ever went to Hakeem, you can't find one. All the people who's going there for footwork, all the big man who's trying to get this magical knowledge and not one. Like you, you can't, like with me, you can't move the goalpost with me, right? I, I'm not gonna chase you down on your goalpost moving. I'm gonna say right where the topic is. Now, I got something for you. This is going to hurt just a little bit, not, not too much. It's going to hurt just a little bit, y'all. Let me, let me finish. Let me, finish. let me say it again. <laughs> I'll be what? damned if I pay $50 million, $50,000 a week to go down there and travel, right? Is that bashing him or is that my opinion? And then everyone gets mad, then I got to go pull up the footage to show y'all the travel. Like, y'all y'all made it lo more longer than it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like, quick, 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 and then we move on. But y'all trying to prove a point to me, knowing that you're not going to prove a point to me if I've already studied every damn play that he's done did. I don't know. I think the problem is, I think people just think I say stuff just for reaction. And they try to come at me not knowing I got a full loaded clip. My clip is long. <laughs> Clip is long. That's why they got to move the goalpost. You got to move it. I went through every video, so you're not going to beat me on it. I can show you more travels. And we, more travels. We traveled out. We traveled out. We I done loaded videos on top of videos on top of videos. <laughs> you can, Y'all can keep going. I got text messages on top, text messages on top, text messages. We don't want to see the text. not. How many play, How about this? We if you don't want to see the text, yeah, how, how is he the only one that travels? <laughs> let's try this. Is he the only one that travels? Let's, let's, try, let's try like oh, this. He's definitely not the only one that travels. Of course travels. not. So let's, why are we let's, highlighting him? No. I, I made it a thing. I came out and said, whoa, 50000 to go down there and travel. Ooh, hell no. I did that. That was my response. And then my response triggered feelings. Oh See, I think God. that's the problem. Everyone is, fe their feelings, like, the fe it, your feelings doesn't change this. It doesn't. How you feel about his career, oh, he's tacking a legend. I'm not tacking a, a legend. I'm tacking a trainer. Is he a legend in training? Mm. Yeah, that's why you can hear all the producers in the back like, no. <laughs> a, 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 is he a, 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 a legacy trainer? Mm. How many play? Like, if I ask these questions, y'all gonna act It'll like I'm stupid. asshole. If we go every summer to the trainer that's getting us better, right? Every summer, like where we get your haircut from, you go back because he's doing a good job, right? Training every summer, you go back to the trainer who's done a great job. And if I say how many players that went to Hakeem went back for a second time and the answer zero, am I wrong for saying it? I mean, that, that right there, that right there should tell you something, right? If he was such a great trainer, how come in the last 20 years no one repeated in the summer? Am I missing something? Mm-hmm. Right. If I went to your Thanksgiving and if your Thanksgiving was the best Thanksgiving that I've ever had. I'm coming back. Right. I'm going to keep coming back. The fact that no player has came back for a second workout. The next summer. Is that it? Does that? No. No, no. Okay. Am I there? No. Now, uh, the, his face says it all right here. Boom. <laughs> uh, there you go right there. There's your man, y'all. Mm. I can't move the goalpost no more. Now, 
I hate doing stuff like this, but sometimes you just got to prove fucking points to people. Now, these are two NBA players hanging with each other, and I get a text. And that's I got texts, you know, players, I ask them players, hey, why you didn't go back? And, you know, there's some funny shit, right? Here's a message. All right. This player with Rashid Wallace right now talking about how Guinness working with Hakeem was dumb as fuck. He said he watched Hakeem work out Amari and it was useless. So y'all can. Yeah. Right there. With Rashid right now. So th there's a, a NBA player with another NBA player with Rashid Wallace right now talking about how Giannis working with Hakeem was dumb as fuck. He said he watched Hakeem work out Amari. So that means he, this player, was there watching Hakeem work out Amari. And it was useless. I, and me, me, I talked to LeBron Javel already, so already I was ready to blast him if he came at me. I told you I got clips on top of clips. <laughs> clips on top of clips. So this is a player who was there watching the workout. I, I, I guess, I guess, I guess this is why no player who's worked out with him has came to his defense. Someone said, um, Someone said, uh, go to who's Rod Strickland's. Let me see Rod. I don't think Rod really said anything. I just said, you, I think he said, you don't talk on greats. Hold on. Let's see. Let's go. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. like in all the NBA highlights. He was going for the layup, and Hakeem got that crazy block. You remember that, Ez? Yeah, uh -huh. You do too much research. No, I watched it. <laughs> I know. I saw, I you like, know too much. I watched more. And the reason I bought cool. one, that was a crazy momentum, but I'm also tailing it down to, you know, Gilbert Arenas was going off on Hakeem, and I'm like, does he not know who the F? Like, can you talk about Dream? Because Dream Shake. Well, first of all, Dream was a bad dude. Uh, you know, he dominated. You know, he dominated. Every he dominated a bunch of great centers. David yep. Robinson, Patrick Shaq. Ewing, Shaq. No, he did not dominate a great Shaq. He dominated a, a, a just came in the league Shaq. Uh, why do they always use Shaq as an example? He was still, he, it wasn't the Lakers Shaq. It was still up and coming. Second year player. But that play. Yo. So, and I knew he was athletic, right? We know, to me, I'm running Big up. <laughs> if you know, I'm jumping up because I, I don't know people. When it comes to the legends, I'm yeah. not. But yeah, Keem is a killer. And, and as far as Gil, and I, I watch me after the play. Uh, but yeah, Keem is a killer. And, and as far as Gil, and I don't like to get in because no, social know, media social, stuff, yeah. I'm not getting myself into that. But I'm just one of those people. When it comes to the legends, I watch my mouth. Watch my mouth. Like, I just feel like, it's like if I saw Kevin Durant or I saw LeBron or I saw Magic or Dr. J, if they heard me speak about them on camera, like I want them to know I spoke about them with the utmost respect. Yeah. I don't want them to think I slighted them in any kind of way. Cause you know, and then I have a like I, I get that, that that this is all he said. I get it, right? But I'm not talking about the player himself. It's the it's the workout, right? It wasn't, it, it's a workout. I'm talking about the work. I'm not, so that's what I said. When everybody talks about 
in defending the comment, they're not talking about the trainer. They're talking about the player. I'm talking about the training. No one's discrediting nothing from the player himself. It's the training. I don't know why we keep moving it. Well, no, I have a problem like digging at people who had a better career than me. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That's hard yeah, for me. You had a better career than me, but I'm talking that's, about that's, about yeah, that's, that's hard for me. That's yeah. hard for me to sit there. Like, like Kevin Durant is playing now. And, you know, people have criticized him about the Golden State thing and all that. For me, man, do what you got to do. Mm. You're a bad dude. You can say whatever you want. He's one of the greatest ever. Yeah. You know, seven foot, bring it up, point guard shooter. Can handle. You know, people say all these things. I'm like, how do you do the grace like that? And how does like random people get to talk about greats like that? that's the part that, that like that, and we just feed into it and keep it going? How dare you talk about Kevin? They acting like they not randoms. <laughs> you dudes are randoms talking about players. The Durant, like you could critique his game and whatever, but to say like you know he shouldn't have did this or that, like it sounds crazy to me. So for me, like if I saw Kevin Durant now and I'm sitting on this podcast, I don't want him to ever think I said anything disparaging about him because like the dude is one of the best ever mm -hmm. so who am i to kind of but you know it comes down to tv and money and whatever and, yeah. Yeah. and all that. popularity yeah. and, Cloud. and we live in this disrespectful world now mm. where we think disrespect is like the new thing like it's we that's what talked about yeah. that offset yesterday offset. Yeah. Yeah. Offset. I, I watch so much social media stuff and it's amazing to me because I, I just listen to all the disrespect but i know what it is mm -hmm. about making money there you it's go. about clicks but for me, I just don't, I'm, I'm old school. So like, I don't know. I'm not when, he was like, when he was like, yo, niggas is wasting money, paying dream. And I remember Kobe trained with him. You saw the moves. LeBron trained with him. And whatever Giannis. Tracy is, McGrady Tracy, they trained with him. People, no cap. But you pay for what you want. You pay for what you want. So, but whatever Giannis could learn from him. But you pay for what you want. If you think, if I thought that was important for me mm -hmm. at that moment, you might pay extra. You know, that's yeah. Akeem Olajuwon. His greatness is allowing him to do that. Yeah. If you don't want it, you don't have to pay for it. But that's what he thinks of his time. Mm -hmm. But there it is, right? Right? Because of his name and his resume, he gets to charge whatever he wants. Right? And as a basketball player, trainer, right? And I'm the one who said Giannis needs a post-up move. So when he said that, I'm like, oh, hold on. No, 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 no. Not, not over there. <laughs> I'm the problem. I don't know. I'm just, when it comes to the legends, I can't. I just, I, I got to watch my mouth. <laughs> and I ask you a handle question. He's going to laugh because, you know. Yeah. Now, y'all want it? Before we end this show, I'm going to show y'all something funny. <laughs> this is funny, y'all. Funny. Y'all can't unsee it, but it's funny. This is a McCants, this is McCants rap video. Twelve years ago, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sunny Black. Sunny Black. Sunny Black. Sunny Black. YBG. 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 I'm at a point in my life I can't look back The blue pill from Matrix threw me off track But I'm back, got the queen by the hands Romance, big hugs with no hands I'm stretching, reaching for the stars My scars forever bleeding Feeding me the spark in my heart forever needing I'm leaving, the game's insane, it needs treatment In recent, I'm feeling my life is at an instant Moment every time my mind create a line Like dope on the table, blow willing and able Cutting off your cable, killing your record labels We gotta fight back, it's death sooner than later And I just wanna live what it feels like I'm hiding Hiding from my past, so it's That's a cold combo, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's a cold combo, not gonna lie. But we're not there yet.
Back to the future and the future is my present. The present is a gift. My gift is a curse and my curse is a myth. I'm dying inside. My mind can never run. I'm counting down the days. Afraid forever young. See, Martin had a dream and Malcolm had a vision. And Rosa took a stand and survival love the fittest. So how can I lie when lies control the truth? And how can I rhyme when they control the booth? I remember, they trying to stick us all up in Denver. Guardian, artist, I'm the best defender. Going to November, colder than December. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> oh no he did huh what yes sir look at it 12 years ago come on now huh huh you can't unsee it <laughs> How is this hero? <laughs> he gets to argue with his hero. <laughs> huh, dream. Hey, dreamer, dreamer pro. Hey, hey, you go. I'm your hero. Just say it. Everybody y'all arguing with your hero. Huh? Yeah. Oh, y'all. Everybody who came at me. I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go, Gilbert, go. Go, Gilbert, go. Oh, y'all been doing it. Shit. But the world's on the bench, but I'm the sixth member. They coming for our land with groups, they got troops. Stand in salute, they ain't ready to shoot. It's time to get the mask for gas, the time's coming. I need more time, so why is time running? Harder than I thought, I sought to get knowledge. Imagine if we all got paid to go to college. Imagine if the Louis and Gucci was all free. Imagine if the clubs ain't have a VIP. Imagine if the hoods was rich and full of money. Imagine if time the Perry just wasn't funny. I spent a lifetime thinking about the right rhyme. My mind's in the vine, no time for Lifelines. Never in my life the type to want to wipe my sex lifestyle get wilder every night. It's something about the cake. I want it and eat it too. So why would I? You know what? Listen, <laughs> I'm gonna just say, hey man, just just bring me the jersey, man. I'll sign it for you. <laughs> but to be honest, I probably already signed that motherfucker. To be honest, shit. Seven for one, I got two. I think about my hood. Cause that look like game issued. Some time to shake my head Cause all my old homies in jail are either dead Or hating cause I blew and grew Whoever knew I'm higher than the rest I'm sick of the bird flu The game full of wanksters Deeper than Ja Rule I'm even seeing the blood Deeper than Ja Rule Yeah Sonny Black Hey, low key that was, Hey, low key he, he was saying some shit in there <laughs> Like y'all might have to go Like actually listen to this He was saying some shit in there Bobby Chief. But, but we can't take it back, y'all. And I signed it. I did sign it. Hey! Hey, yo! What? What? <laughs> yo, sit on the ground over there! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Hey, Dreamer Pro, <laughs> show us your jersey collection, goddammit. <laughs> show us your jersey collection, goddammit. Uh-huh. You probably got to give it a ring of jersey all the way in Nigeria, huh? Boy, like, like, you see the people that, that <laughs> you see the people that be arguing with me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Knew it from somewhere, you know. They, I knew I let me let me see. look. Let's listen for McCants to ask for a jersey. I had to bust his ass for real. I had to, I had to give him the bebop, the boo bing bang. I did. Hold on, let me see. I had to give him that juice work for real. Nah, where he at? Let me see them. He came, oh, he came in in 2000. Oh, yeah, he got, oh, yeah, he got worked. No, 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 for real. Wizards, Wizards, you ever play against Wizards, 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 Wizards. Washington. I'm 
Okay, he played. He, okay, he was in the game. Rashad, you know, he had eight. Damn, I had thirty. I had thirty-four. <laughs> he had, I had thirty-four, y'all. And he had to guard me. Thirty-four. So first, first matchup, thirty-four. He get he get any, he get any more of this sauce. Thirty-four, the first matchup, y'all. Oh, where you at again? Okay. You know, he only had two points this game. Oh, no. He had two points. 38. 38, y'all. <laughs> 34, 38. Shit, that means shit. I, I'm God to this motherfucker, to be honest. Shit. I got to start letting... Damn, I, I mean, to be honest, I ain't no... <laughs> I ain't no... I got to start letting them win arguments now, knowing that I... Uh, next game. Yeah, so he was over two, and then and then I had twenty. He had a uh, two again. So he had a total of twelve. Man, so you know what I mean. I, and moving forward, man, knowing that you know, man, I'm these people heroes, man. You know what I mean. I got. I, I might have to let them win some arguments. I got to let him win some arguments now. Knowing that he got the jersey, or he probably wanted to wear the jersey. <laughs> he probably wanted to wear, oh, what, what? Oh, I didn't know. Oh my God. I'd be so, I'd be so, I'd be so like not thinking y'all. No, I got to be careful. No, hold on. I think he, wait, is this, oh no, 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 no. Hold on y'all. And during them early days, I think he wore Gilbert Arena's jacket. Am I tripping? He had the Gilbert Arena's jacket and shoes on. Am I? <laughs> he did, Eddie. Like, he did, right? Gilbert Arena's jacket and shoes. What? Damn. No, 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 no. Right? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, but I swear it was a. Is this it? Is this it, y'all? No, nah, that ain't it. That ain't it. Nah, we're going to get to the bottom. We're going to get to the bottom of this shit. That's Nets. What's this really weird in here? Come on, man. Anybody, that, right? I got, you got the link? Dang, somebody y'all, <laughs> somebody got the link. Jacket and shoes. Then I don't know if it was, see, that's what I said. I don't know if it was a live. I don't know if it was a live or, um. I don't know if it was lives or pre-recorded video. Damn. Can I? Yeah, I can't remember, man. But I know he had, I know there was a time where he would, but you know what I mean? But, you know, no, that's what I do, y'all. You know what I mean? I'm y'all favorite podcaster's hero. <laughs> uh, come on, Dream Pro. You know, there's a bunch of people in the beef sector. I mean, he, I'm really the hero deep down inside. You know what I mean? But, you know, they got to, they got to, they, they got to pretend that they men in front of their they fans. You know, I get it. I get it. You know, you know, people got bobbleheads that they look at before. Like, all right, Gil. <laughs> boop, boop. And then they come over here and bash me. That, that's the shit that they be doing. 
But yeah, you know, Dreamer, Dreamer Pro, 0 and 3 again, right? You got you got legends, share swoops, boom, right? Saying it, traveling. We got the referee head traveling, right? <laughs> you know, we got you know McCann's contradicting himself. We got NBA NBA players that's with each other saying it. it useless. How much more do you need? How much more do you need? So I'm hoping this is the end of this, right? We can move on. <laughs> All right. I want everybody to enjoy their Saturday. Next week, basketball season kicking in. And we're going to get active. And I'm going to start having guests on now, too, on this channel. I'm going to start having guests. You know, a lot of women guests we talk about these relationships. You know what I mean? Try to get into today. you know, smooth talk them a little bit. See what I can get out of them. <laughs> they, they, I, I'll erase this part. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have some women guests come on here and we're going to, you know, shake it up a little bit. But uh, enjoy y'all Saturdays, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. And I'm out. Go Lakers! Sharon Miller. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get Sharon. Like, you know, um, you know, I, I I was getting ready to hit the end button, and then I see Sharon Miller. Yeah, so we're gonna get Sharon Miller on. Uh Tina Thompson's coming on. Um, like T Tina Thompson and Cheryl Soups, they they are part of our rotation, but you know, they live one lives in Houston. I forgot where, where Tina lives. Tina's supposed to have been on the episode also. And I don't know what happened. Lexi was supposed to be on the episode also. So it was going to be all three. Um, Lexi missed her flight because she was down there watching game three of the WNBA. Um, we're going to try to get Lisa Leslie and um, and Cheryl Miller. Like, we're trying to really in heighten. Um, trying to, I, we don't know what the hell is going on with Miko, right? Uh, you know, of course, Miko wants to be on. Um, you know, she has her own podcast. It's Ask Miko. You know, everybody go follow. Um, but we're going to try to get on. We got to have that girl, that girl panel, and then throw in McCants, and they're going to chop, 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 chop his ass up. <laughs> but not yet. But now we out. All right? We out of here. Oh, oh. And <laughs> I know. I said we was out. But there's going to be a three-point contest, like a tournament coming soon. Right, I think like after the new year, but you know we're gonna have tryouts. We're gonna have a, a two hundred, a hundred or two hundred thousand dollar, you know, prize giveaway for the best shooter. Right, so if you shooting out there, start working now because there's gonna be a nationwide shooting contest from Gills Arena, where you know we're gonna select I think eight to twelve shooters and we're gonna have bracket and the winner takes all. We're gonna have it here in, in Los Angeles. But for all, any contestant that actually competes, y'all going to get flown out. You know, y'all going to get flown out like Hakeem do. <laughs> you know, so the location's going to be here in L.A., though. But, you know, I'm just giving y'all a little heads up. There's going to be a shooting contest to 100 to 200,000. Guaranteed. All right. Bye-bye now.